All right. So we had finished the Ota ending. Then we had gone over here, and it's locked. But now, we've got this unlocked. I'm curious if there's going to be more... More splits? Or if it's going to be literally just, okay, go down this way, finish it, then go down the next way and finish it. I'm curious how they're going to explain the fact that there's all these branches with different killers and blah. Police headquarters. I don't even remember where I am in this branch anymore. Ah. Oh, okay, this is the branch Sasuke. where the chief kills So. Or boss, I should say. Why? Why? This is where we also found out previously that people can swap bodies. So is that really boss? What's going on here? Why did boss kill so? Boss's alibi for Shoko's murder. Shoko was killed around 5 p.m. Friday. What was boss doing at that time? Unknown. <laughs> well then, it's gonna be like that for every murder. What about Renju's? What about Saturday, 8 p.m.? The time Renju was killed? Similarly unknown. Uh, what about Iris and Ota's murder? Iris and Ota were killed at different times. I was watching the stream on the call with Boss. Only the first few minutes. The polar bear had not yet appeared on stream. It is possible that she made the call from somewhere off camera. Where was Boss's phone at the time? Check her cell records. She did not call from a mobile phone. Oh. She used a PC. Using a VPN service, she could have accessed her Abyss PC from the warehouse and made the call. That would be smart. I don't believe it. Boss? Boss is the new Cyclops killer? Shoko, Renju, Iris, Ota, So, Boss killed them all? The evidence makes that a likely possibility. So also had his left eye removed, identical to Shoko, Renju, and Iris. Date, I know where the boss is. I have picked up her GPS. Where? She is now at the Sagan residence, somewhere inside Hitomi's house. What? The first I was gonna say, yeah, it makes sense why she would have, why she'd go after be working with Hitomi. However, she killed Iris, so <laughs> maybe not. I drew my gun from his holster and barged into the house. Hitomi, Hitomi. I called for her, but there was no reply. I didn't see Boss either. I got call Boss's phone. On it. And then it rings right there. Yeah. Kitchen counter. The boss's phone. Oh shit. Kaname Date, you were under arrest for murder. Say what? What the hell? Why well, hello there, Chris. Come How on. you doing? What you been up to? Uh oh. We've been framed. Boss. Boss is the culprit. Boss is the culprit. That woman right there is the new Cyclops killer. She's tricking you. They are well trained. They did not even flinch. I didn't kill anyone! I didn't kill anyone! Please believe me! They are not listening to you. No. Please lower your weapons. 
Please, lower your weapons. You drop your guns, I'll drop mine. Date, do you really think these officers will listen to you? Registry things. It's going to take a while to get all that fully filled. Fleshed out, right? And Genshin. Oh, yeah, I haven't done anything. I think multiplayer has to be, what, 16 or was it 20? I'm not sure. I haven't looked into it all too much. I originally thought it was 12, but that's not the case. I was told. But what choice do I have? A lot of reading reviews on different products. Oh, so you're actually doing like research. Oh, wow. Boss. Where's her Toby? I don't know. She was gone when I got here. Why did you come here? Why would I tell you? Did you kill the five victims? Are you kidding me? You're the new Cyclops killer. What? Why do you think that? You put a gun to So's head and pulled the trigger. I saw it with my own eye. Shut up! Shut up! Stop lying! Boss, what the fuck are you doing? I could ask you the same thing. You killed Shoko Nadami, didn't you? That's ridiculous. What are you talking about? Don't lie. Three, two, one, fight! This is going nowhere. Are you going to fight? I have no choice. I recommend against it. You have zero chance of winning a firefight. Well then, what can I do? Well, let me think. Portal bag! There are 16. Okay, I'm a... I think I'm about to hit 16 now. I went and did a couple more quests. Trying to do all my dailies to get more primo gems because I'm all out. I use them all on pulls. I wanted a healer. I wanted venti. Date, just to get that darn that heal. What is on the kitchen table? Could it be your favorite thing? What? The magazine. You want me to look at a magazine now? Just look. It can't be. This is the stuff of legends. Only the most diehard fans have ever laid eyes on it. What's it doing on that table? Whoa! Limited edition! Oof. Haven't used it many? Oh, I see. Yeah, you want to use the two beginner's things first. What? Or something on accident? Oh, only tried for one? Oh, no! Oh, that is the worst way to do it. Oh, because yeah, the 10 pulls are what you need to do. This way you get those guaranteed four stars and your chances of getting stuff go way up. Date, load Evolver with firebomb bullets. Shoot at the cloud. Why? Just do as I say and fast. Firebomb in a flower cloud? Like what you did. Yeah, if you've only done one, it's not too bad. What was in that bag? She is probably just unconscious. Her right shoulder and left leg suffered damage, but she will live. A dust explosion, huh? Good thinking. Thank you. But you could have just had me throw the bag of flour. That would have been too slow. To improve your reaction time, I had to improvise. Mm-hmm. Anyway, the let's thing? Okay. have a look. Hey, this is just a cooking magazine. Thank you. 
Boss is still unconscious. However, her brainwaves are stable. Sinking with her shouldn't be an issue. So if she was there with the police, wouldn't Pewter also be against helping me? I'm confused. The party in this game, trying to find the different endings? There are two ending left, I believe. We have gone through, gotten the Iris ending, Ota ending, um, and Mizuki ending. So all we have is right up here that was unlocked. And then the true ending, which I believe is this one over here. So I think, yeah, this one, everybody's dying. Like everybody. <laughs> I believe this is the final sink for this ending. And then we're going on to the last one over on the other side. So it should be done tonight. I decided to sink with her without asking questions. It would just be wasting time. Besides, even if she was awake, I can't imagine that she'd take kindly to an interrogation. Itomi still hasn't been found. I have a bad feeling about this. There's a good chance the boss knows where she is. How would I get that information? Getting into her, into her head would definitely be the quickest way. That's why I brought her here. Date, talking to her would be pointless. You do know that, don't you? Chair, okay, so do I. How do I go into the sink? Let's, let's do it. Okay. What, do I need to talk to Pewter or something? Ah, there we go. Pewter through the glass. Where's 89? I had him put back behind bars. In the Fuchu prison. That's right. I couldn't keep him here. So suddenly. Oh my gosh, I'm so confused. What do I have planned next? Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm thinking I might do the Vampire's Masquerade. It's the October theme, and I've been wanting to play it for a while, and would hope to finish it before uh, Masquerade 2 comes out. Especially since it keeps getting pushed back, it's like perfect. And then I know everybody and their dog. Is going to be streaming cyberpunk like every freaking buddy so in november i'm debating whether i want to be one of those people that are doing it just because i want to play it so that i have more time to play it <laughs> or if i want to be doing something else i still have subnautica to go through and a, quite a few other games why are you so cooperative pewter because i know that the boss is my enemy Wait, what? i got the video from iva processed it and found that it showed no sign of tampering or editing which means there can be no mistake the boss shot and killed so Sejima after pulling out his left eye that makes the odds of her being the culprit behind the other murders very high or maybe she had accomplices either way she's a criminal that's why I am cooperating with you special agent Date I want it as bad as you do you want as bad as I do pewter oh boy <laughs> Oh, oh, he had to clarify saying the truth. Fine, fine. Let's see. She has broken her right shoulder, as well as the fibula of her left leg. But her brain is perfectly healthy. Cyber crunch? You know it. You can sink with her. All right, then sink me. Let's go. Pewter, are the preparations done? Ready anytime. Let's get started. <sighs> I mean, as a consumer, you'd hope there'd be something that you can do. Like, don't support games that do crunch. But at the same time, every game has it. It's an industry standard right now, which sucks. Because I know. Six then you can't won't buy any games ever. I'll be back before time's up. Well then, let's begin. But on the flip side, at least they're getting paid. Unlike in America, where it's probably going to be just unpaid overtime. Which is utterly ridiculous. Good job, Polish laws. A common thing in their country as well. It's it's a common thing like everywhere. Ridiculous. That, that's why you keep hearing about so much crunch. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Here's Poland. Oh, 
Oh, is this that factor? Wait, what? H hello? What are you doing, Iba? Scooting that booty. Time to loosen up. Do you always have to come in like that? It is of the utmost importance. At a time like this? Times like this are perfect. Anyway, it appears to be an abandoned factory of some kind. Don't you support us, Cap- Oh my gosh, Captain Crunch. Here. I haven't had that in ages. <laughs> We've had Fruit Loops, Lucky Charms. I tried getting Activate. Corn Pops. I was just seeing what kind of cereals the kids like. I'm into log one. Two. Three. Four. Four mental locks. Oh boy. Open the door to boss's truth. Boss is hiding something. Reveal the truth of the new Cyclops serial killings. Little interest in cyberpunk. So maybe give it a go at some point. Well, there you go. Everybody's going to be streaming it, so you'll have more than enough chance to check it out. <laughs> Good lord. I don't know. What am I supposed to look at first here? I don't have the slightest clue. That door one over there is ladder 1F, so I'm going to guess this door. A rusted metal door. Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, goodness. Break lock with pick? Investigate. Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, Let's break the lock with the pick. Break the lock with that. Roger. I will try. It, it worked! Alright, open it. Nope. Oh, that's Shoka. Wait. Oh, we didn't realize there's a bunch of stab wounds. From home just so you can play more games. I mean, during your breaks, great time Several for it. Several keys have fallen. One of them must be the right one. I do not have time to try all of them. Hopefully there's some kind of sign. Indeed. <sighs> Agent Date, you've got five minutes. They all have picks, right? It's a key. Oh, no, that one does not have a pick in it. It's a key. Where is that one? It's a key. Aha! I see it. This one. This one has a pick. It's a key. Pick this one up. Whoa! How did I get that times ten? The ice pick is next to this key. It appears to be correct. That's what I said. The tag is labeled A. I was right. Give me some credit. That must mean you can use this key for something labeled A. Are you actually looking? It would be nice to find something that pays well. That you could be home with children's. It is nice. I mean, it becomes more nice once your kid's in school because... And depending on how you're... Your wife is working. I mean, it works out for me with the... My wife works shift work, mainly evenings. So I can get off. I'm right here, so she can leave earlier in the day. Like, she leaves maybe about a half hour before I actually get off. But it's okay, because our youngest, which is home from kindergarten at that point, is at home, but he's okay just kind of hanging around by himself for half an hour until I'm off. And then I have to go pick up the other one from school. Come on. Which is very helpful. Agent Date, you've got four minutes. That I'm around for that nice and easily. I guess I need to go through this door. A rusted metal door. Wow. I kind of want to do this. Let's see what's inside. Why would it be times nine nine nine? A rusted. No 
you. Oh, that was such a freaking waste. Oh man, I thought something cool could have happened. I'm very disappointed now. <laughs> a door that looks <laughs> open. <laughs> yeah, try. Oh, it opened. Oops. Odd. Isn't this the third floor? What is going on here? Looks like the floors are connected in a weird way. Hmm. Quite the troublesome dream. Well, let's uh, restart this now. <laughs> Date. Damn it, what the hell is boss? I just, I wanted to see what was behind that rusted metal door. If it had a 9999, I just, it had to be something cool. Curiosity killed the cat, I know, Agent right? Date, you've got five minutes. Ugh. It's a key. Yes, it's a key. Let's pick it up. Times 50. Oh, I can't fast forward because I just did a pick from point, not full restart. It appears that's fine. I would that come. Agent Dante, right. It was over this way. Well, oh, that's door A, even though it says C on this side. Oh, goodness, that is weird. A door. It's only it takes one second, so I can Perhaps keep that one second. Yeah, try that. So now I have a one second and a one six. That's going to be helpful. I see the Monster Hunter movie teaser. I didn't know. I, I just happened to scroll past it because I think Arx and them were talking is about it on Twitter. Third floor? What is going so I on caught here? like a. It's just a very short teaser, right? Where you see like the Diablos coming up at the end, for example. It's not longer, is it? Looks like the floors are connected in a weird way. Wait, Deep Rage? Why? Hmm. Quite the troublesome dream. What, what are people upset about it? There being guns in the film? Do they, have they not played Monster Hunter World? Where you have a literal sniper rifle? Where you have a the heavy bow gun is a machine gun. <sighs> Open the second door. I guess door B. A door with. Uh, but it'd have a times three. I guess this is all I can do. It does not appear. Oh no. Oh yeah, because it's not locked. Yep. A military unit gets teleported into hmm. the Monster Hunter world? This is the second floor, but it is oh, that clearly not the door I just opened. Is an odd premise. It's like a maze. I have to remember what door goes where. That is a very odd premise. Oh, okay. Well, I guess uh, there we go. Now, see? Doors. It doesn't appear to be locked. Oh, we're on the second floor again. We leave the second floor and come right back to it? This is confusing. Yes, yes, it is very confusing. Went through BC. I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going. Okay, that's blocked off. All the other Somniums kind of at least have a rhyme or reason. I think I'm supposed to do something with a shelf. A bookshelf. There is an obvious wire tied to it. 
push slide in the gap activate well this pulley here leads to over here steel drum ah well let's throw this over the side drum hung with wire we want to lift oh i have no choice Or not. It's no use. I cannot lift it. You could have told me earlier instead of wasting time. Excuse you? Is that really something you should be saying to the one making all the effort? There's a difference between being stubborn and not knowing when to quit. It looks like, yeah, pushing it right off. Is, I thought she was going to have to lift it over the rails, but actually, look here. The, the hole is perfect size for it. An oil it. drum hung. Hung with a wire. Oh, well, it only is going to cost me like a few seconds. Ah. <sighs> Fine, we'll use this one. Push it! Push it! <laughs> we did it! It's open! I can open the door. Oh. Guess you should check that door. Success. A rusted metal door. So Chris, I believe I heard you talking on your stream about asthmophobia, and I noticed it was on your wish list. Have you gotten it? Are you looking at getting it? What 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 makes you interested? I'm, the price is right for me, but at the same time, it's one of those multiplayer games. I'm having a hard time justifying buying multiplayer only games, because I I gotten so many, and then nobody plays them with me for very long. Well, I can't go through this. Why is it saying that we should check this out? But... Uh, why? I, mean, I could go through... Or D or E. Let's go through E. Door E. Oh, hey, honey bear. Well, thank you very much for that lurk. I hope you're doing well. I've been kind of uh, catching a couple of your rank games there, and I'm always sitting there going, one of these days, one of these days, I'm going to go up against you. It's going to be great. Wait, did I just. You have less than two minutes. Hurry. A rusted metal. I just went through that, and now I... Uh... Okay, what? Okay, fine, I don't care. I'm going to go through this door, even if it kills me. A rusted... It does not appear to be locked. Oh, you can't lurk yet. You get, you get drawn in. <laughs> what is the point of this game? To die. <laughs> uh, basically... Wow. We're trying to figure out who the cy new Cyclops killer is. And... Right now, we've gotten in this machine called a sink machine. So we can hook two people up. And basically what happens is one person's able to enter into the mind of someone else. Now, obviously, people's minds are complicated, weird things. So that's why this whole world that I'm in right now is really weird. This is the stuff of their memories. So we can't just grab one. We have to be careful. We need the one with the watch. That's Renju's special watch. Give them their privacy. Exactly. You gotta close the door after, right? Oh, goodness. With a plus 10? Oh, no! I wasn't paying attention to the time on the watch. I didn't think that it's was a important. Key with a watch beside it. The hands indicate 345. Oh, I don't know what was the correct time. Am I doing an escape room call? Well, yeah. I love escape rooms where the puzzles aren't all just number-based. Those are great. 
But so many of them, because they use combination locks to lock things, they're all number-based puzzles. I'm terrible with that. Oh, goodness. Not with number-based ones. Hmm. But there is an... A virtual reality place here in the city that actually has... I probably shouldn't be just sitting there. My timer's now counting down. That has Ubisoft-based... Escape rooms. Like legit Assassin's Creed based ones. I'm in Manitoba, Canada. So, yes, yeah, and Canada's like, oh no. And basically, so I guess Ubisoft has it built up so this way, whoever's in VR, you go around and you can do an escape room in VR, which means you can do puzzles like this, picking up rocks, putting them places, and so on, a lot easier than just, oh, combination locks and stuff. So I, I want to do, I want to give that a shot at some point. Oh God. What was the time? I want to say 3.45. But I don't know. Oh man. What times have we got here? 8, 11, 5. Uh, you know what? It might be the 8 o'clock one. I think it's whenever his death was. So let's try this one. It's a key with a watch, but the hands indicate 8 o'clock. Pick it up. 50 seconds. Ouch. Good deal? Yeah! Is this the correct answer? Saturday night at 8 matches Renju's estimated <gasps> time of death. Okay, to D. D is written on the tab. Did I just get it right? Did I remember correctly? Oh, I'm excited. Beautiful. I will try the key. Ever been in Canada? Yeah, try it. You see, as much as I'd love to say come down and visit, unfortunately, Winnipeg here is not that great of a tourist destination. Now, if you're going to say Toronto, the Rockies over in Alberta, and so on, do that. There will be way more. Go to Banff for the nice ski slopes in the winter. Way more cool stuff for you to do there. Over here, we've got... Nothing? <laughs> I honestly can't think of any touristy things. Smack dab of middle of nowhere almost, it seems. That is expensive to fly to my city. It's ridiculous. Nobody wants to come here. <laughs> this door too. That's everywhere though, Chris. Uh, like, you know, Canada in general, you can get some delicious poutines many places. All right, we are going to need to go to this control panel, I believe, to turn off that pipe. Rows of monitors and buttons. Oh, but if it's just investigate, that's not going to help. But it is a one second thing. Hmm, frozen door. A broken pipe. Steam is leaking out. Okay. <laughs> Smell. <laughs> We're going to want to kick this bad boy. Yeah, Ooh, yeah look at that melted ice. In Michigan, just try. Fifteen hours. Oh wow, that actually is actually not too bad. Um, I think when we drive to Saskatchewan from here, it's about nine hours. You were surprised, admit it. Dante, thirty seconds. A rusted metal door. Most of the There's no way I'm going to be able to finish this. Yeah, because of this times ten crap. Oops, whoa, no, 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 no. Take one second for this. I think I can open this door. 130, whoa, wow. That is an impressive mileage. Oh, are they going to show the full kill death with this one too? Yeah, we got to watch this, uh, honey bear on stream too, where this poor girl just get, okay, it doesn't show it here, but it did not turn away. You gotta watch the saw go through her and the blood splatter this everywhere. It's like, oh my god. Control panel? 
The one right there? I'm so close to the end, too. So close. Rows of monitors and buttons. Because I will stream our lives. Just find us in a road trip. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> oh, you see, this is, you know, I'm going to sound like a terrible, terrible person here. But this is one of the things where I regret being a father at this point. <laughs> All these opportunities in my life and so on to go hang out visit people things like that are coming now later in life where i can't just say let's do it and get up and go now i've got i i can't just simply book off work and go now i've got to coordinate between okay the wife's going to have to book off too because she's got to look after kids or what's happening with the school issues and all that it's just like oh man <laughs> So that being the case, Chris, get all that stuff out of your system now before the kids come. <laughs> You'll watch them. You know, they would have fun with that. Uh, Mach Omega, they, they enjoy playing when he comes around. We played uh, Legion, the those Star Wars miniatures that you see me with. I show off every now and then. And then play games and all that good stuff. You know what? We're just going to investigate to get rid of this 10 seconds. This appears to be old. I believe this computer controls oh, the factory. And then I can show you, Chris, the the a real polar bear exhibit. <laughs> it appears to require a key to activate. Rows of monitors and buttons. Oh, oh, this could bring it down to zero seconds. Let's do it. Go as far as we there. can. <laughs> Oh yeah, Chris will do the babysitting. Oh, I see. I see. I like this. This is a good plan. <laughs> so, although Chris would have it freaking easy. I see. All he'd have to do is sit if we here. Move the scaffold, a new route appears. He would sit here and play Animal Crossing with them, Super Smash Bros. All he's got to do is play games with the kids, and then that's it. Okay, let's move it. Left out. Don't have fancy VR stuff. That's rough. Let's move it. So does that mean I move it from here? Rows of monitor. Uh, let's press that switch. Uh. Hey, it got stuck. This button is indeed the one needed to move the scaffold, but mm. huh. there might be another step we have to do first. In VR. Ooh. You see, I want to. I want to try it in VR. I want to get into VR, but I always... I can't last in VR very long. I just start to not feel very well. So it says it got stuck. I guess what happens if I turn the key? I'm out of time anyway, so let's just go see what happens. Rows of uh. Ah, so I'm gonna have to rotate, then press the button. Shrunk. Rows of monitor. And we press the switch. Uh. Uh. Only last 20 minutes of VR. Yeah, it's. I mean, I've got the very first edition oh. of the vive like i got it i was on top of that i pre-ordered that it was good times Rose of and then we flip the switch again uh. so i extended i've been tempted to get the index especially because i love the the knuckles they've got that's the main thing i want but also with the index it has a better resolution and everything as well but i held off because a like i said i i there's not as many VR games that I like and enjoy. I want to play it lots. And B, it's expensive for that. It's trying to show its age. Yeah, I mean, when my 380 comes, 3080 comes in eventually someday. Maybe now by Christmas. VR will be nice. So I just need to open the B door. 
Date. Too late. There no is time. no time left. Damn it! What the hell is boss up to? Yes, I have a 1080 Ti, and as I was saying before, I've been saving since then. I had almost bought the 2080 Ti when it was on sale. It was $500 off this last Christmas. So close to just dropping it and purchasing that. Because it was a decent price. But there was already rumors of the 3080 series. I mean, the, the 30 series. Well, if in my case, yes, I have an ATX case. I have a big boy case. Because I wanted to make sure it was large enough to handle everything. Okay. You know what? I kind of want to just restart at this point. We can do the fast forward this way. Yeah, so I figured, okay, I'm going to wait and we're going to see. So I did it. I, I waited. Waited a long time. The 2080s went on sale a couple times at that point. I said, I'm going okay, Yep, we already know that works out. Let me go get the pick. And then, at first, I was actually looking into possibly Agent getting the minutes. 3090. It's because I, I, I saved up enough though for it. But then, the ice pick is I, I was waiting. So I didn't try getting it on launch it day. Appears to be That's what the 3080. I so I, I missed out on all that. I was Which is why I'm waiting forever now. <laughs> Agent Date, you've got four minutes. And then I was going to get 39, but then finally the I was like, okay, we're going to wait and see what the benchmarks like are. And yeah, it's a little bit of an increase, but it's not enough to warrant double the price. So I figured, okay, I'm going to go with the 3080, and then I can use that extra money that I still had saved for a better second monitor that's not going to randomly shut off on me. Perhaps we can use the key I just yeah. So then I was all like, yeah, I'm going to buy a 4K 1440 Hertz monitor. It's going to be beautiful. But then with the benchmarks and so on, it can do 4K 60 FPS. All right. But not the high Hertz. I mean, I'll, so I have to think about, does that matter to me? And then when I was looking at that, it's like, okay, I can deal with 60. I mean, that's honestly what I'm playing at right now. My 1440p anyways. I have all my graphics turned up and it's at 60 frames. As, as nice as the 1440 would be. However, go down to C. Just open this bad boy as well. There we go. Now we've already learned that we've got to push that damn barrel. But I have a times five right now. A bookshelf. A five is the shortest. I appreciate you still stream 720 and 1780. Well, I've been thinking about that. I, I used to do a thing, so this way I always had transcode options. And I would stream at a really high bit rate. With the games like this though, I don't need that high of a bit rate, and it was just getting troublesome making sure I always had transcoding on. So I stopped that. And then at 1080p, 60 FPS, you need to have stupid high bitrate for it to look really good. Either that or have this really big secondary rig for high uh, quick based games. I figured, whatever, we'll, we'll just not do that. And then, yes, Chris, so for affiliates, that max is 6K. That's as high as we can go. Partners and so on can get like up to 12,000 and so and stuff, I believe. Our phone users. Yeah, exactly. At that point, you you hope that they do have the transcodings, but unfortunately, nobody. An oil drum. Unless you do the the special things, you're not guaranteed the, the transcode <laughs> options. And even then, the special things is not like that has. 
guaranteed it. Sometimes there's so many. A rusted metal door. Mobile. Where's option 140? Yeah. It does not appear to be locked. Okay, this is where we saw the strangulation. We know the 11 o'clock. Oh wait, eight o'clock. That's what it was. It's a key with. You have less than two minutes. Hurry. Man. Shoot, was that through door E? Door E. I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. Oh, D. Right. Yes. Up here. Yep, that's why it's one second. Oof. Okay. Yep, then we need to go kick. Yeah, I need to just... Press the middle door, switch to one second. Well, that's good. There has to be some cheap things for me, too. Go spend these times tens on. This one we can at least investigate to waste. It's ten seconds wasted, unfortunately, well but... Almost died again, so close! Rows of monitor. Okay, so now we know to rotate the dang key. Oh, I don't want to waste time with this. Fine. To rotate. Rows of Press the switch. Hurry. I see. Then we rotate. There we go. Okay. Now we can use the Mm-hmm. Means I just need to open the B door. Means I need to go through that D first. I believe this is where my time had run out. Door. Open. Oh, will give me a one second? Yes, please. Let's open that. Take that one second. Oh, I'm so close to the end of the mental log. Gosh, I don't know where I'm going though. Up there. Door E? Door E. Oh, good, I get another one second. Ooh. In the shakes. Timing is coming down to the wire. Wait. Is I wrong? I was. Go down then? Door E. I have terrible memory. Or have I been incredibly ridiculous? Dante! Seconds. Now it's supposed to. What? Ooh, I found a hidden secret. Yay! Okay. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm a fool. I'm supposed to go this way. Date, you're out of time. Oops. No, I didn't want to drop down. Doors. So clearly, I need to find a better way to get rid of the negative effects. Wait. Yes, and then see, here's floor door B. That's what I was trying to get to. Door.
Ah, oh, so close. Date, yeah. there is no time. Damn it, what? Jeez. Okay, I'm going to have to do a full restart again and really find some way. Because I didn't really mess up too much. It's really a matter of finding how to best deal with the negative modifiers. Hashtag really arrest. Yeah, so there's nothing I can do right here. Or is there? That's a straight up 66 seconds. So I've never thought to look at door A first. See if I can get a bonus. A door that looks like the Oh, yeah. It only takes one second. Mm -hmm. It's locked, and I've now gained a one-sixth. So that's actually huge. Gonna watch the drill die again? Yes, we gotta watch everyone die again. Arrested <laughs> metal. There, so now instead of 66 seconds, boom, it's only 11. Break. We'll break all that off. There you go, you gotta watch her getting stabbed with the ice pick again. Oh! Hopefully there's some kind Oh! Perfect, because now I have that negative times five, I believe. Right? And usually what I was always doing, or negative times 10, is picking up this and it's costing me 50 seconds. So now, what we do is we run back to this door again. Go here. It only costs one second, so now it's 10 seconds. Instead of 50. We run back here again. We pick up this bad boy. We now have that one second timer for the next place. It's a little bit more back and forth, but considering while you're running, the time doesn't go down that fast. Perhaps we can use the yeah. There we go. I think we figured it out. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident about this run. Hmm. Honey bear, I've got a question about league for you. <coughs> What's going on here? Swallowed wrong. How do you feel about the fact that you can now queue up without rank differences or whatever it was that they had before? Because I, I believe they're saying in the news there that the it's new like season you can queue up no matter what ranks you are. So you can go back to having Grandmasters teamed up with Bronze Leaguers, if I understood it correct. Hmm. Quite the troublesome dream. What the French does? Yeah, if I'm remembering correctly, that was the reason why they did away with it at first. A door with could be. So we gotta open it. Takes one, but adds a times three. It does. Hmm. It's like a maze. New season you can. Let me think for flex Q. Oh, maybe I, I might be thinking about flex Q then. You might be right about that. I think when I heard flex Q, I just assumed that was for the... It would extend to duo solo as well. Flex Q, that's going right. Yeah, I think, yeah. Now that you said that, I b do believe that is what I remember reading was said, specifically saying flex Q. It doesn't appear to be locked. In which case, then you're generally going in with a team of people that you know, know and trust oh, anyway, so... We're on the we leave the second... Alright, so we had a times five. So what if I go through this door C again? Ooh, it's ten seconds, though. Maybe not. I 
So that would have been a 10 seconds with a 50. A bookshelf. Uh, lowest is 25 with investigate. An oil drop. Would the 10 seconds make that much of a difference? Considering it just took me about 2-3 seconds to get over here. But to go back, no, it wouldn't be worth it anymore. I could investigate right here. Oh, but I only have a times one after. So no. Pushing with the 35, I'm going to have to do it. Agent Dante, you've got four minutes. Arrest. All right, so this one we do the one second. It does not appear so you to do be that. locked. Cool. Now weird. Going with four bronze challenger. We'll play against golds, plats, and diamonds. In that case, you're hoping that you can carry that one last person. <laughs> Okay, this was the second murder. We got that. All right, so this is a times 10. So I would love to find. It's a key with the hands indicate. Oh, this one's a one second. Let's do it. And I get a mystery thing what? this is not it it's an eyeball the clock relevant? it would be quite the or they just want us to think that true except it is relevant oh no it was a times two anyways gosh darn yeah well it's not it's times five though so that's still a net gain i believe d is written on the t you have three minutes uh, dante uh, D door. I will try the key. Yeah, try. Is it so that more people can play together, which is what Flex is all about? Exactly, right? The plan you find challenging game still might not have fun. <laughs> I can understand that. Okay, I do not have any negatives on me right now. Kick the pipe. And we'll take the half. A rusted metal. It's a metal door. Take the one second. I think I can. There's the saw. And interact with the pipe again. Oh, I can't. Boo. 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 I can interact with the door. Rows of. The investigates one second, so we might as well just investigate first. This Pop that bad boy off. Rose of Mono Insert the key. Rose of Mo Rotate key. Rose of Mo Press the switch. Nice. Rose of Mo Rotate key. Do you see the blood? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Now we can use the route to door B. All right, and this time, this time I know that I'm supposed to run this way. Wait, sorry. I'm supposed to go down and then run across the little thing. Door. Cut that down. Then I'm supposed to run or across the catwalk that way. But first, we know there's a hidden item over here. You have less than oh no! Once you get it once, you all... Oh, I didn't realize that you didn't have to go and get it again. Oops. <laughs> that was a mistake. Okay. Did I just fall down? No, okay. Or C. I want to use the one second, but I need to keep it just in case. There's still plenty of time. Still plenty of time. We got this. We got this. No problem. Here's here's the the door B that we needed. We use the one ninth. Make it cost one second. Alright, 
we're up here. Now we get to run across. And then go down to door F. Door F. This is the first time we've seen it. Oh gosh, we have to open it with and get a times ten. Ugh, yuck. It does not appear to be locked. First floor. This is the first time we've been here. That big door. If we can see what's in there, we'll figure something out. The final one. The final lock. There's a cord, a ladder, and that's it. Probably want to go up the ladder. An iron ladder. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right, I can't interact with that. <laughs> cord. A power cord. It is discharging sparks. I cannot interact with any of those either. Back to the F. Oh no. can't do anything. Zero door A. How am I? Okay, now here's the thing. If you break the lock, even if it takes up the rest of your time, it still counts as a win. You will end the Somnium at a one millisecond left. So essentially, I have a one in eight chance right now to win by picking the correct one. So we've got to do big brain strats here. So we have a cord. Less than one minute. Hurry. A power cord. We can kick it, investigate, or get shocked. I don't think any of those. This ladder, if we go up on this ladder and we take a look, it looks like a Jacob's, what is that, Jacob's ladder contraption or whatever they're called, where if we kick it or something, it'll hit all of those dolls, they'll go, dun, 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 hit the barrels, and then I don't know for what would happen from there. We can climb up, tackle, or lift. So I think tackling is our only option. So we're going to try it out. Ready? Okay. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. The electrical shocks. I'm going to blow up the, the door. No. It's available. It's open now. But that's not me going through it. This somnium is awfully dangerous. Hey, that door. Maybe we can open that one now. Check it out. Date, there is no time left. Damn it, what the hell is boss up to? So we know that's the correct thing to do. We just need to find out. So we're going to retry at lock three. So we finished this. This is the point now where we are going down. Tickle it. <laughs> yeah, this game has some interesting things where you can actually do funny stuff like that and it's okay. Wait, what? What just happened here? Oh, was I? I'm at the, this point. Rose of Mo oh, okay, gotcha. This, I believe, it appeared. Rose of. Rotate key. Rose of Mo. Press this each. Rose of. Mo Rotate key again. All right. 
There we go. Now we can use the root. The door B. Yes, say that. All right. 4 a.m. Wake up. Ooh, that's rough. All right. Well, thank you very much for the lurk, though, and for hanging out with us and chatting. You have yourself a fabulous night, and we'll catch you next time. All I can say is I am not jealous. I still think my 7 a.m. work wake up times are a little rough at points. Ah, I see. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Door. Pop this bad boy in here. Door. Oh, so I bet you this time if we kick it open. As opposed to just opening it. Ha! There we go. This is that big door. If we can see what's in there, we'll figure something out. Oh, that's a shame, Honey Bear, because this is going to be the end right here. Now you already got to leave. Oof! You know, if that's what you got to do. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Games like this is one of those terrible things. Either if you get into it, you don't want to leave. Whoa. There's just so much that can be missed. Like, ah. Uh... This Somnium is awfully deep. Hey, yes, you know, we can go through the door now. A rusted. How can I get one sec? A power. So I need two one seconds. Well, although if this is the end, it doesn't matter if this finishes it. Arrested. I'm going to open it. So yeah, we just saw all the murders in her mind. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> like, I could do it where I have two one seconds going in there, but, uh... Oh, they're all opening now. That's... Iba, return to the control room on the third floor. At once. Allow me to guide you all to the world of surprises on this train that runs toward glory! Nate. Thank you so much for the six months and with another tier two on top of that. Ooh, neat. You honor me. Thank you very much. How are you doing? It's a pleasure having you here. Oh. So Renju killed Shoko. So who killed Renju? Iris kills Renju. Ota kills Iris. No. So kills Iris. And then Boss kills So. Why? But they all have the same MO. Of the left eye being taken out. What the hell is going on? So it has to be that the murderer is switching the bodies. Yeah, with the fake sink. That's what I figured. Now they're hopping into Hitomi. Date, what are you doing? Six minutes are up. Wait, wait, Hitomi is... Date, you can't go any longer. Force shut down. No! Okay. 
pretty good day to sleep in. I actually slept in a bit myself today. I was pleased. I finally got myself to bed by midnight at the latest last night, which was nice, even though I wanted to play more Genshin. Slept in until almost 10. Actually got a good amount of sleep. And now we're here. And Chris, you're saying you're picking up Phasma 4 uh, on Tuesday for VR. What about it has you wanting to get it? Just the fact that it's a spooky game that you can do in VR? Why that one? Because I believe there's another one. I took a look around your head. Co-op aspect, working with people. And the cross-platform as well, which is nice. So this way, it, people don't have to be in VR if they don't want to. It's neat. And I discovered something. Something about the new Cyclops serial killings. Apart from Ota, there are four victims. I kind of like the fact that there are the player is there is no player ghost. This way, you don't have people just screwing around as the ghost, either making the game ridiculously bad or easy or hard. So you can have a general idea of how to go about things. Shoko Nadami, Renju Okiura, Iris Sagan, and Sosajima. I can give me both player control ghost. Yeah, I don't think it would work for it that very well though. Who is responsible for these murders? Is my problem because it's not so much the ghost trying to go and kill the players right away. The players are trying to get evidence of the ghost. So you wouldn't want to be doing things. I don't know, it's confusing. <laughs> Shoko was stabbed by Renju with an ice pick. Renju was strangled to death by Iris. So cut open Iris's body, but who shot so? It was you. In other words, all of these murders were committed by different people. But they weren't. There wasn't just one killer. That's how it looks on the surface, anyway. But that's not the truth, is it? There's only one culprit. One person. If you look how Boss is acting right now, they're not doing their usual thing while they're sitting. And that person is. Who's the new Cyclops killer? <gasps> So, Iris, Renju, it's you. Yes, you, the person in front of me right now. That's right, because you're, you're not blaming boss. the commander of Abyss for this. No, not boss. The person inside boss's head. Oh, they're like. <gasps> Can you at you least know? try to make sense? All right, I'll explain. You know about the abandoned chemical plant in Kawasaki? There's a prototype sink machine there. How does he know that? You use that device to swap around bodies one by one. In other words, the entire egg ends up being replaced. Yeah, these are from all the other endings now. Mind, consciousness, memory, they are traded, switched. I don't know where it started, but at some point you got into Shoko's brain. Then, you got into Renju's and got rid of Shoko's body. After Renju was Iris. You strangled Renju using Iris. After that, into So. Who you used to kill Iris and Ota at the cult storage warehouse. Now, you're in Boss's body, inside her head. I see. If you know that much, then I have nothing left to hide. Yes. I am the culprit behind the new Cyclops serial killings. I guess you can call me the new Cyclops killer. Suspect. Her eyes look clouded and dark. Who was inside Iris during their interrogation on Sunday? That was me. Oh, excuse me. 
You imitate her well. From the way you talked in your body language, it was like the real Iris. Earlier, too. You almost had me fooled. Your imitation of Boss was... perfect. Yes, there's a reason for that. Let me define some terms first. A person's memory and sense of self. Let's call that... personality. It isn't quite the right word, but it'll suffice. Now, transferring that personality into someone else's brain, let's call that parasitism. The one transferring is the parasite, the one being transferred into is the host. Are you with me so far? Moving on, even after the personality exchange is complete, the host's memory isn't completely lost. About 1% remains in the brain, so a parasite could use that 1% to imitate the language and behavior of the host. That's how I knew about the warehouse and Sunfish Pocket, by the way. Thanks to Renju and Iris's remaining memories. Hmm. Who was inside Iris during the investigation on Sunday? I'm telling you, it was me. Why are you making me repeat myself? That means the Somnium I entered on Sunday. That's right. It was me. How? How does he know about the original Cyclops killer? Something else was troubling me. What's going on here? Who the hell are you? Saito. Saito Sejima. Yep. It must be weird for him seeing... Uh, his... Technically his body, because Date is in Saito's body. Congressman Sejima's son. What? I researched Saito thoroughly, but I cannot find any images of him on the internet. He is listed on the family register, but I cannot find any photographs. Give me the details of each crime. Before I do, there's something I want to hear from you. How did you know about the prototype sync machine? Yes. And not only that, you also seem to know what the sync machine is truly capable of. Why is that? That's... Regaining your memories, are you? Human memory is fractal. If you retain even a single piece of it, it's possible to recreate the whole thing. Pieces of memories are like roots that grow into every corner of the brain, gradually, slowly taking its time. I imagine the same thing is happening in your brain right now. A fractal is a figure with self-similarity yeah, but there was different things happening in them, so they couldn't all be the correct Allow memories. Allow me to explain. See this? Whichever fragment you cut, you will see a similar shape. The whole is made up of its similar parts. This is called a fractal figure. Memories in the brain are similar. That is what he is explaining. He is claiming that from a few pieces, you can rebuild the memory. I knew about the prototype from regaining my memory. Is that right? No, that's not it. Parallel worlds exist. Yeah, it'd have to be from parallel worlds. There's no other way it would work. Continue. Fine. I still have time. Time? You'll see. So, where do you want me to start? Just past midnight on Tuesday. Joka was killed on Friday. We think of that as day one. Today is day five. What was Saito doing those days? I decided to ask him. Day one, Friday. Like you guessed, my personality was in Shoko, Renju's ex-wife. That made calling Renju easy. I need to talk to you about something. He came over without question. I think it was around 4 p.m. 
I had him meet me at the chemical plant. I made Renju go to sleep. Synced. Switched personalities. And then stabbed Shoko's discarded body with an ice pick. I took Shoko to Bloom Park by car, using the old abandoned subway line. Must have been around 8 p.m. by the time I was finished. So we found we found those clues, so yeah, that makes sense. I tied up Shoko to one of the merry-go-round horses. After that, I used Renju's phone to send a Nile message to Mizuki. Mizuki, daddy got caught up in something serious. Then, I just waited for Mizuki to arrive. Day two, Saturday. Until next Saturday evening, my personality was inside Renju. My next target was Iris. I knew she would be suspicious if I asked her to come to Kawasaki, so I asked her to come to Sunfish Pocket first. I called her a little before 5 p.m., and she arrived just after 6. I greeted her, then convinced her to come with me. That's when Ota saw us. Anyway, I put her in the car, then headed to the chemical plant. On the way, I made her take a sleeping pill. I knew she might run once she saw where we were going. It was around 7 p.m. when I got there, and I wasted no time switching bodies. After getting Iris's body, I used a rolled-up apron to strangle Renju to death. Then I put his body in an empty oil drum I had prepared earlier. I put that in the trunk of the car, then headed to Sunfish Pocket. Exactly then, as we thought. Something I didn't anticipate happened. Waiting for the signal in Akiba, someone knocked on the window of the car. It was Ota. He asked me something about being able to drive. He was surprised, to say the least. I didn't have time to waste on him, but I couldn't risk him finding the oil drum in the trunk. Plus, if word got around that Renji's car was spotted driving around Akiba, that would foil my plans. So, I came up with a lie. I told him that I didn't have a license, so he had to keep it a secret. Secret That's what did. that thing referred to in Ota's Nile messages, by the way. Yes, we know about and that already. just like that, I managed to escape a bad situation and headed to Sunfish Pocket as planned. The rest went exactly as you already figured out. Okay, well, day three, Sunday. Sunday morning, I had a recording or some such thing scheduled. Oh, I am, of course, referring to Iris. I didn't want to draw suspicion, so I decided to attend as planned. I went to Lemniscate and performed my job. And when I left, I ran into you, Date. To be honest, I was a little surprised. Just the previous night, I was a parasite in the body of Renju. I didn't think Ota had seen me. So, of course, I didn't expect to see you there so soon. You were on to me, but there was nothing I could do about that. If I ran, it would only increase your suspicion. So I decided to play my role. The interrogation began around 8.20 p.m., is that right? Then you sinked into my mind. After we had that whole thing. But you didn't get what you were looking for, did you? As a result, you had no choice but to release me. I didn't want to go home right away. I knew there might be police waiting for me. That would make it difficult to sneak out at night. And that would put my plan in jeopardy. So I asked you to take me to Marble. I tried to find an opportunity to run, but then another unexpected event occurred. I got a Nile message from Ota. I knew I could use him, so I told him I needed his help and to meet me at Marble. 
He did as I instructed him to do. After that, I got into the van with Ota. But because his presence was unnecessary, I asked him to stop at a convenience store to buy me something to drink. When he was gone, I took his car and drove to my parents' house where I used to live. Yes, the Sejima residence. You have Hitomi then? Mm, of course, I knew I couldn't just walk up and ring the doorbell. Oh, sorry, Sejima. Hello, father. It's been a long time. I was also in Iris's body at the time. But I thought I could use that to my advantage. So I pushed on the intercom and sure enough, my dad invited me inside. I told him this. I want you to come with me. There's something I need to show you. He was quiet for a while, but eventually agreed and got into the van with me. We arrived at the prototype sync machine around 11.50 p. By the time I was in the body of Sosajima, it was a new day. Continue. This was yesterday, early Monday morning, past midnight. In my new body, I drugged Iris, put her in the van, and drove to a new location. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. I arrived around 1 then prepared for the show for a couple hours. Of course, when I say show, I mean dismembering Iris. Because of the temperature in the warehouse, it took longer than I expected to prepare, but... Well, you saw it in the video. Of course, I didn't anticipate Ota would show up. What does that make it? Three times that brat has showed up unexpectedly? Oh, that annoyed Ota. me to no end. And I took that out on him. Dressing him up in the polar bear was an impromptu plan on my part. I didn't mean to make you think he was the killer. I just wanted to throw a wrench into the investigation. It didn't matter if you found out or not. This all happened Monday morning. I left the warehouse around 3.30 a.m. Really good memory giving me all the details of the entire week. With times. There isn't much to talk about on Monday. Before noon, I used my old man's body to call this one, Boss. You might not know this, but she and my father go back about six years. Oh, really? She shared a terrible secret. Oh, yeah, we saw her go in with Rohan. Hinting at that was enough to get the boss to come running to me immediately. In that one apartment. I injected her with a sedative, then brought her body to the chemical plant. I synced with her, exchanged our bodies. And after blowing my father's brains out, I cut his body into pieces. But why? I stuffed the meat into a vase I'd brought earlier, then drove back to my house. Go on. Saito spoke with grace and no sign of remorse. I was trying to keep my anger from boiling over and kept asking him questions. Why didn't the sink victims resist after waking? Well, they probably did, but they got drugged. Ah. Uh. The prototype sink machine has a special feature. It administers a strong dose of sedatives to the original body and a stimulant to the host after a sink. Oh, really? That kept them docile. Okay. So then why did you display the bodies the way you did? To harass you. I wanted to bring out the hatred in you. I see. That's why I called Mizuki to Bloom Park. That's why I streamed Iris's murder. Because they were important to you, weren't they? I wanted you to feel cornered, trapped. I wanted to punish you, Kaname Date. Why did you take out your victim's eyes? You know all about the prototype sink machine, don't you? That should explain it. I knew. 
The prototype sync machine differed from the one at Abyss in a few different in a few key ways. The machine at Abyss is more sophisticated. Nano cables from the sync gear enter through the gap between the eyeball and socket. Then they travel down the optic nerve canal to the brain. But the prototype sync machine isn't so advanced. To perform a sync, okay. You need to remove the left eye manually. The subject and the sinker have to remove their eye from the socket. Otherwise, the cables cannot enter the brain. But she's got both her eyes. Of course, even with the eye removed, severing the connection to the brain isn't necessary. Oh, so he just pushed the eye back in. Extracted eyeball still has the optic nerve and blood vessels connected. After a sink, the eye is supposed to be replaced back in the socket. It's supposed to be safe. Side effects are rare. Unless the nerve or blood vessels are damaged somehow, replacing the eyeball isn't too difficult. Uh -huh. <laughs> Imagine needing to, like, go pop your eye back in and... <laughs> oh, jeez. Why did you say... Oh, yeah. Of course, I don't really care about eyes. Like, I guess you would have to really pull your eyelid back, otherwise you're pushing your eyelid in and then you would have to go pull it out and go... <laughs> Damn it! Ugh, <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, no more, no more! <laughs> no more thinking about I don't this. Need them. All I cared about was exchanging bodies with the sink. And for that, I needed to remove the left eye. Why didn't you just put the eyes back when you were done? That's obvious. Once I was finished transferring into a new body, the old one was of no concern to me. Why would I bother replacing the eye? I was just going to get rid of it anyway. Where are the eyeballs that you removed? Shoko's is in Renju. Yeah, we know that. Renju's is an iris. Iris's is in dad. Dad's is in boss. Wait, so did you Their eat stomachs, it? Their stomachs, I mean. You sick bastard. Yes, I ate them. Immediately after exchanging personalities. How horrible. So it's not that she fed the eyeballs to them while they were still them. This was... She, this guy was awake, even fully in control of their body, and went and ate the eyeball. Hey, what's your motive? Homicide is my hobby. I have a tenacity for it. What can I say? Of course, it was also necessary to make sure people kept their mouths shut. If I took over someone's body, they would know about my crimes. I couldn't risk them reporting me, so I killed them. It was also a matter of revenge. Against you, it's personal. That's why I chose people close to you as targets. Well, except for my father, of course. That was personal to me, but don't ask. It's embarrassing. Revenge against me? This series of murders was like a journey for me, you know, traveling through bodies to finally reach the end. That's the thing about traveling. You always wind up in the same place, don't you? Where do you think that is? You are home. A trip is only complete once you return home. The same goes for me. When I return home, my travels will come to an end. So I'll be needing it back. My body. What? You stole my body. You took it from me six years ago. That's why I want revenge. What are you talking about? You have no idea what it was like inside my own head. I miss it. I miss my brain, Date. No matter how many people I killed, it never worked. I never felt happy. I feel miserable. You... you mean... He was born with a brain dysfunction. Due to damage to the posterior pituitary gland, 
he was unable to properly secrete oxytocin. Oh, that's right. My old body. How are you finding it, Date? His body is yours? That's what I've been telling you! But I don't have the same oxytocin deficiency you did. And which is why I was continually talking about, oh, maybe the meds are wrong. Maybe we need to up the dosage. That is because I regularly supplement it. They must have increased your dosage too much. No, but the person who had this disorder was number 89, the original Cyclops killer. That is what I believed as well, but we must have misunderstood. Pewter did not specify who exactly was imprisoned. Only that one of the original culprits responsible was currently in prison. That's strange. That would mean number 89 is the previous chairman, Rohan. Oh, so Rohan didn't die. That must be it. Rohan is a parasite inside number 89's brain. Oh, and then they made 89 jump off the or commit suicide. Interesting. Pewter must have known that. No way. I was confused. Didn't understand any of it. Let us determine the specifics using Saito as our starting point. Whose brain was he in before Boss? So Sejima. And before So? Iris. And before that, Renj. And before that, Shoko. And before Shoko? Whose body were you in before Shoko? I was a parasite inside Rohan's brain six years ago until last year. I'd lost most of my memories. I was a shell of a man. They housed me in a special hospital. But I still had those fragments of my mind left. Just as I explained earlier. From a single piece, you can recreate the whole. I took my time, slowly regaining my memories. One year ago, I remembered everything. I left the hospital and immediately sought out Shoko Nadami. I got her body, and she was in Rohan's. When she saw herself in the mirror, she lost her mind. She was confused, panicking, running up the emergency staircase, and then... why Rohan committed suicide. Mm. After that, I spent a year perfecting my plan using Shoko's body. I spied on you all this time. That's why I know everything about you. Who were you before Rohan? In there, in that body you are operating right now, in that skull. My personality lived there. Wait, hold on. If what you're saying is true, what about my personality? It was in Rohan. I'm not Rohan! Correct. It is just as he explained earlier. Number 89 was in Rohan's body. In other words... That's... my real... That's the real Date. Oh, so. Okay. Let's keep talking. Sorry, but time's up. So I was getting it on with Hitomi, eh? Ah, uh, yeah. I want my body back. It's quite simple. Sink with me and stay inside my mind for more than six minutes. And if I refuse? <laughs> I know that you won't. I know it. Huh? Hmm, excuse me. Date, look! This Suzuki. is streaming live! 
Satomi with dynamite. Lovely, lovely. Damn you! Actual objectives. Just try to spook this and spooks would also like the objective goals. Well, I find a lot of those kind of games are go pick up X amount of papers like the Slender Slenderman. Slenderman. <laughs> the Slenderman, uh, there's other spooky ones where you have to gather dolls or whatever. There's no real tangible things, I guess. No object objectives that make sense. If you give me back my body, I will give you the location. Oh, and of course, it isn't the chemical plant in the Kawasaki district. Exactly what you want me to think. Iba, where's the source? It is being routed through numerous IPs. I cannot identify the source. Pewter, contact headquarters now. Got it. Now, what will you do? Will you agree to my request? Oh no. Oh no! Do we a base Saito? Do we do it or I won't do it? Oh man. Do we sacrifice Satomi? Smile of mocking ridicules on her face. We don't know for sure that she'll do that. And who knows, she might poison Boss's body too. I think we won't do it this first go. I won't Dog. do it. I'm hurt. Trust no one exactly. What happens to her. I won't do it. Do you understand the gravity of this situation? A bomb is strapped to her body. Yeah, and you'll just get away again because people aren't going to believe. We know because we went through this. But they're going to walk free. The police will think, like, oh yeah, this boss is the bad guy, even though I'm now in boss's body. She'll kill a computer or something. You're too stubborn. Or maybe you're just cold-hearted. I'll do it. You want to see what will happen when her flesh burns and tears and scatters? If you aren't quick, we'll see the whole thing. You know I'm not bluffing, don't you? <laughs> okay. I didn't agree, no matter how many times he demanded it of me. I refused again and again. I'm sorry, Hitomi. I'm sorry. But at least she doesn't have to live knowing that Iris is dead. And when I saw it, I understood. Boss's body rolled into the corner of the room. I didn't want to think anymore. Anything. Nothing. I closed my eyes and ran my palm across my face. I could taste blood. Wait, what? What? Why would I suddenly be dying? The boss's body rolled into the corner. I'm, what? <laughs> oh, was it in the police headquarters? And every when I exploded, everybody exploded? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Well played. Well played. Okay, can, can it go right back to the choice? You say I can go right back to the choice. Okay, good. No! Oh, man. Well, at least I can fast forward. That's disappointing. <laughs> Why didn't you just put- So, while we're fast-forwarding, what kind of objectives do they have for that Phasmagoria? I keep wanting to say Phantasmagoria. Hmm. I know Zaytran has it. 
I think uh, he was telling me the bait sauce wants to get it as well. And the animali has it. So I, I know a bunch of people that do have it. So I could probably get into a group. Okay, there we go. So let's save right here first. So I don't have to do that crap again. Okay, let's. That. 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 Well, I see you can get different objectives each game. Yes, because there's a bunch of different ghosts as well, so would that matter, I wonder. Like, different ghosts have different objectives. Although if they do that, then it would be too easy to tell which ghost you have. Snap a photo of the ghost, or try and get the ghost to walk through salt. Oh, okay. I'll do it. Dante! See, I knew you wouldn't refuse. <gasps> Wait! Okay, 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 okay. okay. Um, on my desktop here, there is. This might be the perfect time for this. Okay, where is this? I don't know if it's going to remember it automatically. There. Aiba has a self destruct. So if I switch, I could tell Aiba, Hey Aiba! Or 1205. I know and then I tell a lie. Don't I, Dante? And then I'll blow up and kill him. <laughs> I did it. I did it. Oh, I've got an eyeball in my belly right now. Back. Hey, where's Hitomi? All right, I'll tell you as promised. Boss's house. Oh. However, it might be too late by now. What? Oh, that son of a bitch. Why? Return my body and I'll tell you the location. That's what I said. I didn't lie. I kept my promise. You bastard! You're the one who injured that body. It's your own fault, really. Damn it. Come on, let me do it. Be seeing you. No, say it. Just say the numbers. There we go. Yeah, because we have Iba in there. No, go back inside, Iba. You fool. Dante, are you all right? Iba's voice barely resonated. My eyesight was hazy, a heap of broken images. Sweat was building on my palms. I felt like my throat was closing up, and I was struggling for breath. My ears, the rushing blood of my heartbeat was the only sound. Everyone's dead. Shoko. Renju. Iris. Ota. Hitomi. Boss. The flesh remains. The mind is lost. I couldn't do anything. Saito had me right where he wanted me. Nothing. Worlds exist. The words suddenly echoed in my head. I couldn't remember who or where or why. I thought that if there really was such a world, 
than me in that world. I is another. Could I have had a better future? I prayed that I could. I felt my consciousness sink into the black abyss. Alright, that is the final ending before we go into the true ending of the game. Annihilation Roots. Everybody's dead. Everybody. Everyone. You mother... Why did you... Go back? Okay, good. I thought I had to load the save. That is... Don't save my butt. <sighs> Can I save right now? No, okay. That would have been so annoying. I would have had to do that again. Okay. Oh my gosh, why is it flipping so many times? Now for the true ending. Day six, Wednesday. Last we found out over here, Pewter was trying to hack into my eyeball to shut me down. I think. Yes, there's Renju. Mm, excuse me. Okay. Because I couldn't save. There, now it's saved. <laughs> Damn it. I don't think you can release yourself. Well, do something about it. What is it you expect me to do? Come out of my eye socket and get this off of me. I cannot. Why not? My body has short circuited. It must have been the electric currents from earlier. Gah. But fortunately, my communication functions are still operational. I attempted to reach HQ and Abyss personnel for support. And? No response. They ignored you? There must be pressure from the higher-ups. Likely a result of Congressman Sajima's interference. Yep. He thinks I'm investigating Monica's case. That is not the only reason. So Sajima holds a personal grudge against you. He wants you dead. That is likely why Pewter is attempting to delete my data. Are you okay? For now. But if they breach my final layer of ice, they will destroy me. I would cease to exist. This has to be... She has to explode in this one. <gasps> hey, it's my body! Have I not watched any streams? I've watched one from Mop Garden. And that's where I... The, the gameplay looks nice. And it looks like funny, especially when you use the in-game chat. That, that's really nice. I, they did a good job with that. And with it being... I like the voice. Like how the voice works out with things. Although it's funny having them... Constantly calling out a ghost's name or so on. <laughs> but it was only the one. Saito Sejima. Oh, so you figured it out. Renju's body on the ground. Without his left eye. You were inside Renju, weren't you? Until just now, you used the machine to exchange minds, then got rid of his body. Close. But you're a little off. I didn't get rid of the body. He died of natural causes. But what interests me more is you. How do you know you can use the sink machine to exchange minds? The way you're talking makes me think you know why I took out his left eye. How? How do I know that? Why do I know that? Why do I know about Saito, the prototype machine? Prototype machine changing personalities. The current. Did it unlock your memories? Then tell me, this body was originally... Mine. That means your body... This is your body. 
dissonant Saito. The words came out easily. I don't know why, but in a moment of harsh realization, I knew. Number 89's body is mine, and my body is Saito's. Well, if you know that much, then this should be easy. Give me back my body. Where's Hi Iris and Hitomi? Don't worry, I haven't killed them. Yet. Yet? The brain you are currently occupying has an interesting quirk. It releases a flood of dopamine and endorphins when it kills. I thought I'd take that brain back before killing those two. In front of you, of course. Which is why I haven't killed them yet. Such beautiful eyes. I was going to begin the sink, but I think I've changed my mind. I want to see you mad. But what will really set you off? If you don't shut your mouth right now. All right, talking it is. What should I say? Do you have any questions for me? It's early Wednesday morning. Shoko was killed last Friday. That was day one, which makes today day six. For five days, what was Saito up to? I decided to ask him what he did every day until now. Would be different? I mean, we just did this in chaos. 19.5? Oh, do you know when the 20... Or when that patch hits that will take away the... the rank 20 stuff? Because I, I do want... Apparently the healer that you get at rank 20 is quite, quite good, and I would like that. Let's rumors though. That'll explain what he did on Friday. Where I am, Saito began his plan against Shoko. He called Renju to his to this abandoned factory and switched bodies with him. After taking Renju's body, Saito killed Shoko, then brought the body to Bloom Park. But as he explained it to me, I somehow felt that I already knew. I didn't understand why. It felt like it was being etched into my brain. Why was Shoko's rental phone in the horse? This is new information. Oh. Right. I put that there. When I was fixing Shoko's body on the horse, her phone fell out of her clothes. October 12th. Okay, I, I've still got time. I forgot that I had given her one. I didn't want to take it with me, and I didn't want to toss it away. So, I decided to push it into the mouth of the horse. The merry-go-round horse's mouth was hollow, which allowed the phone to fall down into its body. Day two, Saturday. I was still in Renju's body. My next target was Iris. If I asked her to come to the abandoned factory, I knew she would be skeptical, so I called her to Sunfish Pocket. I even video called her, but for some reason, she said no. This was around 5 p.m., I was still Renju, the president of Lemniscate. I didn't think I would have any trouble getting her to trust me, but... Date, do you remember? Saturday evening after sinking with Mizuki. Inside the Somnium, you thought you saw Iris's body, so you called her. The time was 4.52 p.m., right before Renju called Iris. You told her. Stay okay, there. don't go anywhere. Lock the door and stay at home. Iris didn't accept Saito's proposition because of your warning. If you did not warn her, she would have been taken here. I saved I her life. To pick her up in Renju's car. I thought that if she saw me in person, she would trust me. However, you got in an accident around 6:10 p.m. and lost consciousness. Ah, <sighs> so unlucky. My plans were ruined, but my ultimate goal is still achievable. So it's all good. Day three, Sunday. After the accident, my body was taken to Central Hospital. I regained consciousness just past 12 a.m. Sunday. The surgery was a success, but Renju's organs were in a horrible state. But I had somewhere to be. I left the hospital, rented a car, and headed to Iris's house. I know what happened after that. You got to the Sagan household at 2 a.m. You pushed the intercom button. He was sweating buckets, and he came up to me with this begging look in his eyes. 
He said, come with me. You got Iris to come with you, but when you tried to bring her here... I got scared. I pulled my hand away and ran. Oh, you know that too? But you're exactly right. I was planning to put her to sleep in the car, but I didn't have my drugs on me. The sleeping pills were inside Renju's crushed car. I was pushing my luck. My plan and my body were both in shambles. I'm sure the painkillers were affecting me as well. My mind was scrambled, and I couldn't think straight. I couldn't chase after her. I needed to sleep. I managed to make it back here and collapsed on the ground. Next thing I knew it was the next day. I woke up around noon on Monday. Renju's body was about to expire. So, oh, what happened on Monday then? By Monday, Renju's body was almost completely dead. And of course, my consciousness as well. That's when I got a call from a Mr. Amanoma. The man you call Pewter. I knew the story after that. The boss told me that number 89 was coming. Then, Renju asked, is there any way we can let number 89 escape? So Peter came up with a plan to help 89 escape. Rohan, as 89 got into the car with Saito, as Renju, and fled from the police. Why did you want 89 to escape? When I heard that number 89 was coming to Abyss HQ, I came up with a plan. Iris trusts this number 89, this body. I thought I could use it to get to her. And there was another reason. I planned on eventually switching bodies with you. You and I would get our original bodies back. And after I do that, I will kill Iris and Hitomi in front of you. While you're in this body. A rather nice plan if I do say so myself. That's why I asked Pewter to help number 89 escape. I wanted this body at all costs. What happened after you escaped with 89 in the car? I brought Rohan, who was inside number 89's body, to the abandoned factory. Rohan was my partner in the Cyclops serial killings six years ago. So naturally, we had a lot to talk about, but I didn't have much time left. Not to sound like a broken record, but Renju's body was almost done. It was completely useless at this point. So, I put Rohan to sleep and began the sink. As a result, this happened. Now Rohan's dead. Renju. It's just like I told you. He died of natural causes. But the shooting on Monday? Just mercenaries I hired. After I woke up Monday, I arranged the hit. They were expensive, but I had access to Renju's bank account. I paid them with his money. Of course, my intention was only to kidnap Iris, but after I got this body, I didn't really need them anymore. But they had already been paid good money, so I decided to leave the arrangements as they were. And then, Pewter. I told him about Iris and hiring the assassins. I told him he could use them for whatever he needed. And he acted on his own without consulting me. Day five, Tuesday. I called Iris about 24 hours ago. Tuesday at 1.40 a.m. I started a video chat with Iris. Long time no see. I'm sorry to call you out of the blue like this, but I need to see you. Iris got so excited that she dropped her guard. I told her where to meet, and she agreed right away. It was all according to plan. I knew that if I looked like him, she would do anything. I've been looking for him for six years. I see. That is why Iris left Matsushita Diner. The person she trusts most so wasn't Renju. Person she trusts most. You, Date. Number 89's current body was originally yours. After Iris got into the car, I put her to sleep. I restrained her and called Hitomi. 
They have your daughter. Don't call the police or she dies. I used Iris to reel in Hitomi. And you. <gasps> Thanks for being so cooperative. But you did drag your feet. I was getting tired of waiting. How about Monica's murder 18 years ago? I was only 12, but I remember it vividly. On that day, 18 years ago, I heard my dad on the phone. I'm going to see Monica. I followed him. I got into a taxi and followed my dad's car. He went to the Harbor Warehouse District. Yes, why did you kill Monica? I've only ever been happy when I was killing something. Before Monica, I would kill cats and pigeons. It was the only way I could feel happiness. The only way I could feel anything. But like a drug, I eventually grew a tolerance to it. Next, I'll kill a human. That's when I found out about Monica. That woman took my dad from me, and she stole all the happiness from my house. So I chose her as a target. I was born with a brain disorder. I can't secrete oxytocin from my pituitary gland, and I didn't have a mother. Not a real one, I mean. My mom died giving birth to me, so naturally, my emotions toward my dad were complicated. Sometimes, I think, if I didn't kill Monica, would things be different? Most likely. Maybe the murder six years ago never would have happened. Me, you, Rohan. Maybe none of us would have gotten mixed up in this. And maybe Shoko Nodami never would have gotten killed. Isn't destiny a curious thing? One mistake can change so many lives. What's the rest of your story? Sorry, I don't have anything else to say to you. And even I'm growing tired of seeing that twisted, angry face of yours. So, shall we get started? Give me my body back. <laughs> oh yeah, and this one I'm going to wake up sedated. What a strange fake eye. But he still doesn't know about Iba, though. Oh, well. Oh, God. Ah. So if he actually ripped it fully out. Because, yeah, he's not planning on going back into this body. Right. So why leave him That's with ready. an extra, with that eye? I wonder how long is the tendons on your eye? Like, how far could you actually pull your eye out if you had to? <laughs> I, I want to look it up and find out, but at the same time, I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> that was damn it why can't I wake up this doesn't look like footage from a surveillance camera there's a question no one needs to know the answer to I mean 
I get it. But at the same time. Oh, it's all backwards, eh? Because this time... Yeah, I'm not the person who's supposed to be solving the mental locks. It's the other guy. Mental lock 5. So I wonder, is it going to play like I have to stop him? Or no? Think of the chain. Search Konami Date. Verify identity. What? Oh, interesting. So he is. He's going through breaking my mental locks. Conceal. Am I being synced? If this is a zero. So sure, let's touch it. I can't touch it. Oh, there's a knife now. Investigate oh. knife. What? Damn it, what is this? This is weird. That's Rohan. The agent. Or Dante, I should say. Remaining is full. I want to get Door. out of here. Open it. It won't open. Oh, this is nice. I can feel free to explore whatever I want, check out anything. Although that's the whole point. He wants that what six minutes to pass. Oh no, move. I don't want to. It's taking time now. So sync machine, this is the only thing in here I can interact with. Okay. It's a sync machine. I guess we'll investigate. Putting on the sink gear for one. Sink gear. Well, let's fix it. What? Again.
I guess we'll follow him. Door. What is this? This wasn't here before. But it was. He's breaking all my logs. No. Quickly to the pool of blood. Blood. We got to pick up that picture. The picture. Now save it, Dante. No. Blood. Stick our hand in. Damn. Gotta get it. Oh, this. I. Oh no. It's them. <laughs> oh my Oh hello What? To the mirror with the evil laughing Dante. You're. We're going to hit it. Screw you. Damn, nothing. You're. We're going to knock it down. I can't. I just can't do it. Fine, we're going to touch him in ways he's never been touched sure. before. I touched, but nothing happened. You're. It's just a mirror. <laughs> what is it about this eyeball? Damn it. It made me give him back the eye. That's it. Just a little more. Odd. <laughs> I mean, all in all, he would want to go back to his body. I think. I'm sinking. Oh, stink. I can't stop it. Do. 
Because that's like some very Bloodborne uh, Dark Souls music going on right now. Epic boss fight. Final 60 seconds. Time's up and us to move what to the next body. Was it showing Rohan's body? I'm just a little confused. Maybe that was because I get some of his memories as well. Just a little. Day six. Now, the thing is, he's got stimulant. I've got a sedative. <laughs> I did it! I did it! Is he going to put the fake eye back oh, in though? This feeling! Put the eye in there. I got it all back! This fake eye is awful. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. Yep, okay, perfect. I think I'll keep it. Okay, so this is a good ending. I was going to be deleted anyways, so this could be her last hurrah for me. Save me. Come on, Iba. Blow up his head. You can do it, Iba. This prototype machine has a special function. The body I am transferring my consciousness into will receive a stimulant. The other body receives a sedative. You will be feeling it soon. Oh, oh but don't worry. Like I told you earlier, my plan is to kill Iris and Hitomi in front of you. So I can't be killing you right away. You will watch them die and then you will follow in their footsteps. You should be honored. My body won't move. My vision is getting hazy. My consciousness was melting away, clarity fading. I don't know what happened. I could only watch as it unfolded in front of me. The scene that played before my eyes left me dumbfounded. <clears throat> I. It was a fragment of my memory, lost all those years ago. A piece of my past buried deep in my subconscious. Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Had it? Poke it, fill it with fruit. Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I win, I win, yay! Yay! 
Now you have to take the penalty. Up, up, side to side, up, down, pinch. <laughs> Iris, remember when you asked me what your stage name should be? How about Aset? Iris tried to date me several times. To steal me away from her mother. That's right. I thought of that name. This is when I taught Iris about her name. Greek and Egyptian mythology, too. You see that flower over there? It's a very special flower that blooms in the cold. A winter iris. Just like the iris from Greek mythology. She's the messenger goddess. And the goddess of rainbows, too. That's right. That's why the iris means good news and hope. Good news. Hey, Uncle. You met Mommy at this shrine, right? Yes. I'm curious how he got started working at Abyss then if he was an assassin. When am I going to hear good news from you two? What? When will Uncle be my dad? That just sounds so wrong. <laughs> the Open Omiyaki War. Iris drew it. She must have really enjoyed herself. She even said that she wanted to do it again soon. Yeah, we should. We'll do it whenever she likes. Maybe even every day. Oh, you. Every day? But tell me, do you want to live together, the three of us? Uh, are you sure? What do you mean? People are going to talk. <laughs> I don't care about that one bit. Well then, hypothetically, what if Iris and I were being hunted down by a secret organization? Well, I'd defend you, of course. What if they're zombies? Zombies? Remember when we went to that haunted house and you were clinging to my arm? Ooh. Because it was dark and it came out of nowhere. But fine. I don't care if it's zombies or aliens or whatever else. I will defend you and Iris with my life. Thank you. Well then, my answer is yes. So, you want to go clean? Fine. Do as you please. You've done a lot for us. But, there is one last thing. One final job I want you to do for me. It's nothing major. This woman and her daughter. I need you to dispose of them. Should be simple, no? This is... Now I understand. I understand why Ro Rohan Kamakura wanted these two dead. So Sejima asked Rohan to take Monica's corpse deep in the mountains, where no one would find it. Rohan found out that Hitomi knew about it. He also found out that Monica had given birth to a child. The media got a hold of it. Congressman Sejima would be ruined. That information would no doubt lead to discovering Monica's murder. So and Saito would be arrested immediately. That investigation would lead straight to Rohan. Well, Rohan never told So about Hitomi and Iris. I don't know why not. Maybe he decided it wasn't important enough to mention. He played it close to the chest, need to know bases only. That way there'd be no loose ends. 
That's why Rohan hired the assassin Falco. Meaning me to kill Hitomi and Iris. You got it? I want you on this right away. If you could do it in two, maybe three days, that would be great. Good luck. Of course, I couldn't go through with it. If I didn't kill them, someone else would. I was sure of it. I needed a plan. How could I get out of the organization and keep them safe? I couldn't think of anything. I didn't know what to do. I needed advice from an old friend. I see. I hear some pretty crazy confessions in my line of work, but this one takes the cake. But don't worry, all right? You could have told me you were being attacked by Martians and I still would have believed you. The truth is, Boss and I were both in the same rookie class of police recruits in our 20s. We've been close ever since. Now it all so, makes sense. Can you help me? I do have one idea. Huh? Have you heard of the new investigation department, Abyss? I was put in command there. Boss explained Abyss and Sinking to me. The sink machine is normally used to look inside someone's head, but it does have another function. You can technically use it to swap bodies. Swap bodies? Right. So if we use that... What do you mean? I mean, switch bodies with Rohan. The new you will be Rohan, chairman of the Kumakuras. Then you can send out an order. No one lays a finger on Hitomi and Iris. What about Rohan? Won't he be in my body? Just get rid of it, I guess. Get rid of it? You can take this opportunity to get rid of Falco once and for all. No one will know what really happened. No one will ever find out that a police officer was moonlighting as an assassin. It's two birds with one stone, right? She made a good point. And I had no reservations about giving up my body. My body had soaked in so much blood over the years. I was almost glad to be rid of it. I did have a single regret. My body switched. I couldn't show myself to Hitomi or Iris. I'd never be able to see them again. I didn't care. As long as they were safe. Alright. Leave everything to me. Hayato Yagyu. Wait, what? That was my real name. Boss, how did you bring in Rohan Kumakura? I made up some charges and had the cops take him in. Is that okay? Yeah, it'll be fine. Because he's about to switch bodies. <sighs> Sounds highly illegal. Alright, Rohan has been put to sleep. He will not be waking up for a while. Remember, to get your consciousness to fully transfer. Yeah, I know. I understand. Stay in Somnium for more than six minutes, right? We're counting on you. Let us begin. Three, two, one. I wonder, can you literally just diddle around in there until six minutes is up and transfer, or do you have to break the locks and then last longer? That's when I found out about those, I suppose. You, 
You're... It's... me. Rohan? Did you forget your own idea? Does that mean... I'm Hayato Yagyu. The switch worked. And there's been a breakthrough in the case. I know. You don't have to say it. Regarding the Cyclops serial killings, right? How did you know? We can monitor what happens in the Somnium from this room. Boss and Pewter explained. It wasn't just one Cyclops serial killer, there were two. One was Rohan, the other was Saito Sejima. The sink revealed everything. We should ask him about it. Good idea. When Rohan wakes up, we'll interrogate him. Huh? What? Pewter, where is he? Uh, how would I know? This is bad. Hey, which way did Rohan go? Huh? He's right there. I'm standing right there. No, this isn't Rohan. Yagyu, where is Yagyu? Where did he go? Oh, him. He just left. What? Why didn't you stop him? What do you mean? He's a detective. He said he wanted to leave, so I opened the door. Yep. Did I do something wrong? No, don't tell me. I shot out of the room like a bullet. I had a bad feeling. Awful, terrible feeling down to the bones. I knew where he was headed. I ran out to the parking lot, got in a car, and floored it. That makes more sense now. Oh, hello. What are you doing here at this hour? Such beautiful eyes. Oh, stop. You're always flattering me. Anyway, um, come on in. I'll make us some tea. You bastard! No! Stop! And then that's why boss came in right after. No. Stop right there. Stop right there, criminal scum. Tomi had to endure a long, complicated surgery, but she survived. But it came at a price. She was left with a permanent injury. She lost use of all she lost all use of her right hand. Thanks to the bullet I fired from my own gun. I said nothing. I got up and left the hospital room. I left all my memories with her. That night, I visited the Kamakura building and called them all together. Everyone, listen up. Hitomi Sagan and her daughter Iris are untouchable from this day forward. If any of you lay a single finger on them, you don't want to know what'll happen to you. Are we clear? Yes, yes sir. I went to So's mansion, by boss's request. Meet with Saito. Figure out the truth behind the Cyclops' murders. As long as you're like that, I think he'll be more open with you. So I went to the Sejima residence. When I got there, I said, I want to meet Saito. To then to come. After a while, the gate opened and Saito himself welcomed me. What is it you want to talk about? 
I will be right back in a brief moment. Sorry about that, I have returned. Alright. About Saito and Rohan. How long has it been since we last met? That's an odd question. Humor me. The first time we met was when I killed Monica, and my father asked you to deal with the body. But we didn't so much as see each other for 12 years after that. Why are you asking me this? What was the next time we met? About half a year ago. And what did I tell you then? You don't remember? Remind me. I remember you showed up rather suddenly. You really want to kill people? I'll find you targets. Just let me keep the eyes. Then we both get what we want. We'll make good partners. Why did the victims have their right eyes taken out? That was your idea. I don't understand why you're asking me. My idea, was it? Yes. You told me that you suffer from hemispatial neglect. That you can't recognize the right half of your vision. You always eat the left half of your meals and all that. The same is true of the faces of those you've killed. You can't recognize faces out of your right eye. Which means you can only see the right half of their faces. And that's why you pull their right eye. That's what you told me anyway. Hmm. About the next target. Do you have someone in mind? Uh, let me think. What'll it be? The fifth murder? The fifth Cyclops killer victim? Hold on. Could you not refer to us like that? Why not? I told you, it's very old-fashioned. But that's our name. A name you decided. Hmm. Hi, Anna. How's it going? You even sent that letter without my permission. You said it would throw off their investigation. I don't know how effective it was. So there's no relation to Greek mythology? What? Don't ask me. Test on Tuesday. Well, good on you for studying ahead of time instead of just waiting for the last minute. You're the one who came up with it. Bring him to Abyss. Hey Saito, could you come with me for a bit? Where are we going? There's a place I want to take you. Really? Is it perhaps the police station? Suddenly, bodyguards rushed out from inside the mansion. They surrounded me before I could react. What are you doing? You aren't the real Rohan Kumakura. I could tell as soon as you opened your mouth. How would he know about body swapping, though? Let's get a change of scenery. Fortunately for you, I am interested in hearing you talk. Mr. Kumakura showed me this place, so it's fitting that this is where you die. What a wonderful feeling. The truth serum is working beautifully. Wow. I see. I see. You got into that body with the sink machine. Fascinating. I'm intrigued. I want to see it for myself. The prototype sink machine. Where is it? Chiba, you there. Why don't you go and fetch it for me? Don't worry. I'll pay whatever it costs. A few days later. Why would he want to swap into Rohan's body, though? Well... It looks like preparations are complete. 
Let's say you and I get started. Why does he need to rip off his oh, eye? Let's uh, go. Hey, Zub, there's so much eyeball mutilation in this Anna. Oh, did it not work? Oh, that's Falco. Okay. He didn't know that the prototype machine doing? Follow him. Administrator, administrated the sedative slash stimulant. Did that have no He went, he has some issues. <laughs> but he should still feel the pain. It's not that he doesn't feel pain. Just that, uh... His pituitary glands do not produce oxytocin. Whereas after that, we're lost in a violent haze. That's forcibly disconnected through during the sink. Saito's mind overwhelmed me. Only my consciousness was sent over. My memories were left behind in my original brain. Thought I might have some of Saito's memories to cling to. I never picked them up. Maybe because they weren't mine to hold. Felt like reality itself was disappearing. I was confused and lost. Like suffering from a permanent hallucination. I can barely feel my feet beneath me, walking under the city lights. Ah, okay. When I regained my faculties, I found that I was in Golden Yokocho. My wandering with no destination mind was interrupted by a woman. You're... Saito Sejima? No. I guess not. Huh? Sorry, I just had a feeling. I heard that the prototype machine was stolen, so we lost communication for a whole week. Who are you? Just as I thought. You've lost your memory. All right. From now on, think of me as your boss. Boss? That's right. That's what you'll call me. Come with me to where you belong. Come with me if you want to live. But I guess, Anna, maybe you can answer it for me. How long is the retinal nerve? I managed nerve? to make a new family register for you. So, like, if you were to if you were to pull out your eye, how far out could it go before you know you it reached its max length? From today on, you have a new name and a new life. As a member of Abyss, the team I run. You want me to be a police officer? Skip the question. <laughs> you were a policeman before, remember? I don't want to look it up. I'm scared of what I'll find. <laughs> already passed the exams. There shouldn't be a problem. But the new me didn't pass. That's fine. Trust me. It won't be a problem. That congressman knows how to pull strings. Who? No one. Never mind. So what's my new name? Kaname Date. I hope you like it. Kaname Date. Date. Yep. Nice to meet you, Date. One year later, I was called into the control room. Pewter had something to show me. The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Iva. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. Very much about the length of the nerve. Don't recall that being a topic of discussion. It's not something you'd normally hear people probably wanting to talk about. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. Yes, a basic level, but you never know. I, I don't know how basic it is. 
I, I know because you were talking about brains and brain parts before. I wasn't sure if it'd kind of go into how the optic nerves are connected to it and other things, and who knows. How are you feeling? Your head clearing up? I have been waiting. I really want you to enjoy this show. I need you to see it clearly. Awake. Looking at it. Oh look, he's got the gun. Lots of books. About Rohan after the personality exchange. Stop right there! <sighs> Six years ago, Rohan, Falco's body, visited Hitomi's house and tried to kill her. Fascinating about the skeletal system and reproductive system in that class. Ah. But that didn't go very well. He was arrested by the police. He was sent to trial and sentenced to life in prison. It only makes sense. Falco was an assassin responsible for countless murders. The title assassin makes it sound so clean and professional, doesn't it? But he was a murderer. A serial killer. Life in prison was a light sentence, as far as I'm concerned. You deserved far worse. Between the most about the brain, the hypothalamus, and duck, endocrine system for the drug roots. Oh, Consider yourself lucky. What was Falco's real name? You would know more about that than me, or do you not remember? You've been using other men's names for so long you don't even know your own. It's Yagyu. Hayato Yagyu. Yes, that's right. You're a Japanese native who worked as a police officer. Is he bad? Imagine a police officer being a serial killer. Saito here was our character for the most of the game, but then they had a brain swap. This is explaining how many brain swaps have been happening throughout the game, and there has been a lot. So Saito is the overall bad guy, who just swapped into this body that you see here with the blonde hair from Falco. <laughs> it's I don't confusing. think the public would react kindly to that if they found out. Heads would roll, departments would fold, there would be shameful suicides. The one yellow eye is a robot So eye. your superiors decided that erasing every record of your existence was the preferable option. Hayato Yagyu ceased to exist. And Falco, the anonymous assassin, was sent to prison. Faced off with many faces, brains, yeah, yeah, Where he was lots. known as number 89. Fitting for a man with no name. What happened after we exchanged minds? Explain it because you're at the end of the story. What are you doing? Follow him! There's a lot that's happened. It would take a long time to explain it's true. This is the, the true ending from many different paths. After the sink six years ago, I became a parasite in Rohan's body. But I was broken. The sink only sent data to my brain piece by piece. But that error did allow me to escape prison. It was Rohan who was accused of injuring Hitomi. Naturally, I went to trial, being the one inside Rohan's body at the time, for a violation of firearms law and attempted murder. However... Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, but it was determined that he was insane at the time. Anyway, 
they decided to keep him in a special hospital. He did have a different brain than him. Gunner attack! Saito was off guard. I might be able to make a move. I just sweep Saito's feet. But then... You have a choice. Iris and Hitomi. Die before these two or after. I would of course prefer that you choose the latter. It would be quite a lonely affair with no one watching. So, what do you want to do? I, I want to say I'll some numbers. The count of three. One. Two. Three. Oma? No, wait! Wait, what? Damn. Why is MoMA here helping Falk? Wait, what? He's about to shoot me. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But are you really Date? How did he figure out that I was Date that quick? Yeah. How'd you know? Yeah, someone called Aiba told me about it. It was weird. Oh, like eavesdropping. she called him and was explaining about the body swap. Aiba. Where is she? I don't see her anywhere. <laughs> Inside his left eye socket. What's wrong? Sorry, but the bastard got me. Take this. Do it. Tessa and her mom are in danger, right? Please save them. I gave a firm nod and gripped the gun, following after Saito. Hmm. <laughs> it's bright. Uh-oh. Spaghettios. Iris! Date, do you like fireworks? I love them. A brilliant, glimmering fragment of time. The flash begins as Ooh, a perfectly yes. ordered chemical reaction yes, came now. that melts into chaos. Human lives are the same, are they not? As is the universe itself. Damn it! I can't get into my sights, and I can't get any help from Iba. Blooming. Scattered yes, in the moment, and it's only a single moment, isn't it? A unique moment that you can never revisit. That's what makes life beautiful. Don't you think so? Should I just risk it? But if I miss, I'll hit Iris. But I've spoken enough. It's showtime. I will show you the most beautiful fireworks you've ever seen. The scattering of the cerebral plasma. The splattering blood. It's art. I'm Perfect. Here. Beautiful art of a lonely moment in time. Don't blink. I want this to burn into your retinas. Well, the one you have left. Damn it. What do I do? What I do I know. do? It's bothering me so much that he's not thinking about that. Mizumi to the rescue. Mizuki. You bastard. What do you think you're doing to Iris? Tessa, I'm here to help. Oda actually helping. Damn, Iba. <gasps> oh, at least it's a graze. It didn't go through the leg. <laughs> That's what happens when you get shot. Yes, it hurts. I have a gun. Why didn't I use it? That was quite the punch to make a body fly like that. Did you 
find him? No, I can't find him anywhere. Where the hell is he? When did you get here? Some girl named Iba told me to come. I heard everything. About the mind swapping, too. I heard it, too. From Saito. Kuko, it's really you, right? You came to hell? Yeah, of course. If I didn't come, who would? Oh, but don't flatter yourself, Date. We didn't come here for you. We're here to save Iris and Hitomi. Right. Got it. Oof. Rough. Oda's oh, looking at me uneasily. How's your foot? I'm fine. Leg? This is nothing. Stop worrying about me and go get that guy. We never do such as a shit on Dada. I know, right? <laughs> Look, he's leaning against Iris. Are you okay? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Go save my mom. I don't think it's okay. How do I go? It seems to be okay. I need to find Saito. Looks like machinery of some kind. Did he go through the door? I didn't hear it open. Is he still nearby? Maybe. Small door on the far side. It's not like the Saito went through there. Call him. Saito took a blow and fell on the other side of the container. When I climbed up to look, I couldn't see him anywhere. Not behind the container. The ladder. It's raining hard. Oh, up there. The control room. Date! Hitomi? Hitomi! Sprint as fast as I could, rushing up the stairs step after step until they blurred together. When I reached the top floor, a sight I will never forget greeted my eye. Seems I have an even bigger audience now. That's fine. Having more spectators will be a treat for us all. You all want to see, don't you? The fireworks? Oh, we'll show us the fireworks. <laughs> oh, am I wrong? <gasps> so you don't want to see the fireworks? Fine. Let's do this then. Date, drop your weapon. Great, really crazy face. Yeah, they did a good job. Make him have some I crazy. I promise I'll put the fireworks on hold. I'll even release this woman. He's lying, Date! Don't do it! Throw down your gun, Date. Ah, I see. You don't intend to take me up on my generous proposal? Date! You want to shoot me, is that it? Then do it. But you only get one shot. You have to kill me with one bullet. If you don't, the fireworks show will begin in earnest. And I will blow this woman's brains into the sky. What will it be, Tate? With how much I'm what shaking, I do? don't think I, uh... Should I pull the trigger? No. I'm shaking way too much. Well done. However, you aren't out of the woods yet. You have to throw your gun down, remember? Huh? You have one minute. If that weapon is still in your hands, I'll start the fireworks. And one more thing. If any of you move, I'll skip down to zero. Let's... Ready? Oops. 59. 58. Date, look! It's that girl I told you about. Aiba. Date. But you can blow up, right? However, there is another option. Huh? Self-destruct. Do it. Do it. This is what I've been talking about the whole time. Let us determine a code number. Command 41205. Oh, did I write it down for no if reason? If you issue this command, I will detonate. No, that's still too dangerous. The number will be the first lock. 
If I give you the second command within one minute of the first... What is the second command? How about if I tell a lie? A lie? Something that's Excuse not me. the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you to regard it as the second command. Check out self-destruct. Mm -hmm. Is your data stored in the cloud? Unfortunately, that data has all been deleted. Oh, so she'd be fully destroyed then. Using only local data. Then, if your body is destroyed... Correct. I will be destroyed as well. Ten. Nine. Say it, Date. Six. Five. Yeah, I don't have much Date. time. Command. Two. <laughs> oh, now we got the crazy laughs. You are even more of an idiot than I thought. Do I look like the kind of man who keeps his promises? Now you get to see five fireworks. If you didn't drop your gun, it would have only been one. You understand? After I dispose of this woman, I will pop their heads as well. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. Fortunately for you, you won't have long to regret it. Yes. Yes. The burning in your eye. I see it now. Watch. Eyes open. Watch this woman die. See her brain burn like fireworks. Iba, can you hear me? Yes. We don't have a choice. I know. Command. Four, one, two, zero, five. Okay, Date. I, I... I always hated having you around. You were the worst thing ever. How would she know that's a lie? Hmm. <laughs> now we get a montage. All the things Iba did for us throughout the game. I... I hate you, Iba. I hate you. And I never want to see you again. Second command confirmed. I understand. Be seeing you. Oh, God! <laughs> So yeah, that was a, a big self-destruct. We, we, we got, I mean, so Saito wasn't wrong. We did see a firework, just a different kind. It's supposed to be dramatic. Was that our exploding lines pretty hilarious? Yeah. Just, Imagine if they did slow mo. Has oh, Iba yeah. always been in your left eye? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? I thought you'd be jealous. Huh? Thank you so much, Uncle. No, don't thank me. Thank you. Thank my partner. And it was all thanks to Iba. Mr. Falco, it is you, Falco, right? You shouldn't call me that. I am Konami Date, MPD, Special Investigation Team Abyss. Sinker. Not I, but he never would have gone this far in this first place. It's very true. Being able to x-ray things and uh, analyze, hack.
What I really dislike about this game, though, is they played with the parallel worlds, but they haven't really explained why. Three months later. Give me a try. Three months later. After that? <laughs> is it six now? Uncle, your left eye. Oh, this? <laughs> it's just a prosthetic. It doesn't bother me. Oh, good. Uh, uh, how are you? As you can see, I'm great. Hop, hop, kangaroo goes hop. <laughs> okay. I'm glad the surgery went well. Yeah, the nano machines went pew pew and bzz bzz mm. and got rid of all the tumors. At least that's what I think they sound like. I don't know, they're small. So her brain tumor's gone. She's not going to die. That's anyway, good. everything is fine now. The doctor even said I can dance again. That's the most important thing. All thanks to the boss. She paid for the treatment. Can you believe it? That's not exactly true. Bus didn't pay out of her pocket. It was a confidential transfer of funds from the main office. Iris knows everything about the original and new Cyclops serial killings now. Not just her, Hitomi, Mizuki, Ota, Moma, they all know. Our higher ups were willing to do anything to keep her from getting out. So in return for her silence, they agreed to pay for Iris's treatment. Maybe I owe it to the shrine. I feel like I ate the fruit of immortality in a dream somewhere. <laughs> Then I guess you're immortal, huh? <laughs> we'll see 50 years from now. Do you like my new body? Do you still want to date me? The way you are now is more familiar for me anyway, so... My old uncle is back, you know? Besides, I don't care what you look like. You're always uncle to me. Isn't that how it should be? To judge by our hearts and not by our appearance? So I'm really that ugly, huh? <laughs> no, no, it's a rugged kind of handsome. Why did you want to come here? Because of the memories. Dream immortality doesn't count? <sighs> I know, right? Disappointing. I wanted to come here with Uncle again. Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Oh, not Bake this again. Me a cake as fast as you can. Had it, poke it. In the oven, rock, paper, scissors, rock, paper, scissors, shoot! I win, I win! Yay! By the way, I still don't have the answer to my question. Mm, what question? Yeah, which one? When am I going to oh. hear good <laughs> news from you two? When will Uncle be my dad? I turned away without answering. I stared out into the distance, and something caught my eye. Winter irises in full blue. Well, let's get going. Yeah, we still have a lot of people to see. Yesterday, Iris was discharged from the hospital. Iris said that she wanted to see everyone who visited her. But she's a little embarrassed to go by herself, so I promised I'd take her. We also have to get home. Hmm? Shovel Forge. Uh, if you try it, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But we do have a date, don't we? The date we had three months ago isn't over yet. So let's go! Wait, you're still saying we have a date? And you want me to get together with your mom? What's wrong with you? Oh my freaking lord. I have to visit everywhere? Okay, we'll start with marble. Just wants to Shanghai and my shovel for you. Who is this? Have I not introduced her before? I'm Iris Sagan. Nice to meet you. I'm a net idol from Lemniscape. 
A virgin? Hmm? I'm just saying, sweetie. You look like you don't know a lot of men. <laughs> Jeez. Mama. And what about you, Mama? Me? I'm a fairy godmother, honey, because I associate with fairies and am an older motherly woman. Wait a minute. Who are you calling old? You are. Bodyguard A. You. You're so's bodyguard. Uh, who are you? All right, he wouldn't recognize this face. Don't matter. Talking about so? Quit that gig long time ago. You quit? Yeah. That guy fucking sucks. I punched him in the face and I quit. <laughs> You're drunk, aren't you? You're drunk, aren't you? I'm not drunk. From the look of you, you're pretty good at hiding it. Mama! Tits! <laughs> Oops. I meant tip. I got a big tip. <laughs> if he gives me one more drinky. Don't you think you've had enough? No. No. Oh, you're lucky I'm in a good mood. Fine. One more round, okay? Yay! Yay! <laughs> but your headband. Hey, Iris, I've been wondering. What's with your headband? Oh, this? It rip? kept my brain tumor from spreading. I don't really need it anymore, but I feel naked without it, you know? Oh, interesting. I thought it was just a style choice. <laughs> what are you doing with that bonito? This? It's not bonito. Then what is it? Part of the man who cheated on me. I chopped him up and dried and smoked the flesh. You're joking, right? Am I? <laughs> How are you? As you can see, I'm a little tight, honey. Well, you see, as a, what happens is that nano machines, science. How could I see that? You want to? Because science. I do. I want to see. I mean, they've got a sink machine that could transfer mine, so I'm just going to roll with it. Do you even know what she's referring to? About things for the past three months. I can't say much. The public thinks our Ren killed Shoko. And then number 89 busted out of jail and killed Ren. And then he goes and commits suicide by blowing up his own head. That's what all the news reports have been saying. I know there's more to it than that, but... Saito Sajima and his body are both gone forever. The body I was in for the past six years. But the head office would never admit that publicly. Because at the time, the body was thought to be that of Detective Kaname Date. So they tweaked things a little bit and pinned everything on 89. Said that he committed suicide at the old factory. How does she recognize Date? They've told everyone at this point. Only Kaname Date managed to survive. That's how they wrote it. That's not the truth. Mama, the truth is... Spare me, honey. I don't want to hear it. If I hear the truth, I'm only going to have more questions. There are a lot of things that don't quite add up. The Date's face, for one thing. Plastic surgery. Looking exactly like number 89. They say that your face got hurt real bad in the explosion. They had to put you under the knife for plastic surgery to save you. Your face turned out like that by chance. Mm-hmm. That's what happened, right? Tell me it is. If it's anything more complicated than that, I will lose my mind. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to leave. <laughs> We should head out. Yeah. Oh, leaving so soon? 
Don't worry, I'll be back as long as you have information for me. Oh, enough work. You should come in sometime for pleasure, honey. Sure, Mama. See you soon. Come to her office. Gotta go talk to Mama. Say thank you. Thank you for taking a bullet for us. Date, let me tell you something. God exists. The shotgun was amazing. Was awesome. Yes. No, he was... When Tessa was in the Bam. hospital, I prayed to this shrine every day. And guess what? My prayers worked. God must have been listening. I wasn't imagined. I didn't realize that they would have the cavalry come in. It was it was a good point. Are you crying? No, dumbass. I don't cry. I don't. Yeah, you're crying. Thank you, God. Thank you for saving Tessa. <laughs> anyway, we. What are you doing here? Someone wanted to see you when she left the hospital. Tessa, you didn't have to come see me. I really wanted to see you. Oh, well, well in that case, yes, of course. Uh, I, I am here. As long as she doesn't ask for another pair of her panties, I suppose. Number B, the thin one. Your clothes. Are you wearing the right size? Shut up! None of your business! Lost a lot of weight, okay? You look like you're dying. I'm not! You really should see a doctor. Oh, Tessa. Believe it or not, I am a doctor. Seriously? Yeah, he doesn't look like it, but he really is a doctor. They come to me when they don't want to go to a real hospital. So... Yeah, he's our mob doctor. Is pretty creepy in general. Yeah. What's your name? Why would I tell you? I want to know too. I'll tell you. My name is Yogano. He lost all that weight because of a girl. Boss? Yeah, some nurse at Central. Nasu, I think. Yogano? His medical lessons? Hey, the fat one. You all right? Do I look all right? Yeah. Oh yeah, I heard you got plastic surgery. You look better than before. It suits you. I'm not sure how to take that compliment. What about Moma? Mr. Kumakura? I think he's really nice. Of course I am. About that ring. I won't give it to you. There's a standing next to me. How's your injury? Injury? You got shot three months ago. That was just a scratch. Didn't even hurt. I'm all good now. About Rohan? Don't talk to me about that guy anymore. I know he was a murderer, a real piece of shit, but we were brothers. I can't be mad at him no matter how much he deserves it, but I can't just forgive him either, you know? So I figure, fuck it. It's better to just forget about him. I trust anybody with cybers like that is uh, pretty intense, I gotta say. Wedding. Wedding. Dress, bless, Tessa. Imaging. Compress. Process. Tessa! What? Crime. Redress. Transgress. Tessa! The Net Idol Superstar! Hold Tessa! A set, you bet! They're wow. all fans That's now. really cool! What did you do to these guys? Just a little propaganda. Sun up to sun down. I made them watch your videos, Tessa. They got addicted! T -t -t Tessa! I'm so honored to meet you. Is it okay if I shake your hand? You bastard! What makes you think you're good enough to touch her hand? It's fine, it's just a handshake. Yes! <laughs> yes! 
The fat one ran up to her and with a look of awe in his eyes, slowly took her hand. So soft. He shouted out in joy. What? He fainted. Too much excitement, I guess. Jeez, Tessa's a force to be reckoned with. All right, let's get out of here before anything else anyway, creepy happens. Sorry to bother you, Moba. Dante, wait! Before you go, I have one favor to ask. Oh boy, here it comes. This is hard for me to get out, but... Uh... Yeah, spare me. You want to see Iris's panties, right? <gasps> panties? I never asked for something like that. Then what do you want? Puff Puff. <laughs> uh, sorry. I want Tessa to puff puff me. You know what I'm saying? Just shove my face in there. Well Just played. Uh, well played. Are you kidding me? You know what? Fine. I'll ask. Dante, you're a real friend. Go Dragon Quest. All right. Close your eyes. Yeah. yeah. Like this? Good, yeah. Stay still. Do not open your eyes, okay? Promise! He puff puffs on him by himself. You ready? Yes! Okay, let's do it. Three, two, one. It's gonna be his butt! Oh, okay, yeah. Whoa! Dante! I've never felt so alive! All these shitty years of my life! Been She's just like, oh god, why? Boss, let's go. I don't know what's going on, but okay. This is amazing! I am living! Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, Abyss Headquarters. That happened. I, I mean, I think I'd be able to tell pretty quickly myself, but, uh... <laughs> I'm glad you finally got out of that hospital. Thanks, boss. Is this smiling happily about the boss? Boss, you visited me a lot when I was in the hospital, didn't you? You're softer than you look. What do you mean by that? Do I not radiate an aura of gentleness and caring? You literally called me a slave before. But I didn't treat you like a slave, other than sometimes making you clean my boots with your tongue. You did, Dante? I absolutely did not. What's the friend Mario? Being in their Nile group chat. I'm not even that close with them. How are you? Why are you asking? You see me every day. Are you gonna go to the club later? Interested? But you're still a bit too young. I'll take you when you're older. Promise. About six years ago. Boss, I gotta ask. Why didn't you tell me about what happened six years ago? Well, when Shoko's corpse was found, I didn't think it had anything to do with the Cyclops killer. I thought the culprit was Rohan Kumakura, remember? And he committed suicide a year before. I never thought that he was swapping bodies. And the other person responsible for the original Cyclops serial killings was locked up in Fuchu, making it impossible for Saito or Rohan to be involved. So, I didn't tell you. Besides, the sink machine being used to swap bodies is a national secret. I was ordered to never reveal that information to anyone under any circumstances. So that's why you kept me in the dark? Yeah. About Iva. Still thinking about her, huh? No, not exactly. Well, doesn't surprise me. You two are great partners. I want to ask you something. Three months ago, when we exchanged our final words, I looked like I do now. I wasn't in Date's body, but Ibis still obeyed me. Second command confirmed. I understand.
You're underestimating the Wadjet system. Huh? Aiba was no ordinary AI. She was human in so many ways, including the ability to see and think beyond the physical. She didn't need your voice or iris authentication or anything like that. She knew the real you and regarded you as her master. That's why she followed your command, despite looking completely different. I think, maybe, she knew your soul, Date. I mean, living in my head, she better of. By the way, Date, I have a gift for you. A uh, gift? Close your eyes. I did as I was told, closing my eyes. Now it's time for a puff puff. And suddenly, puff puff. She knocked me out. Don't worry, it's just some knockout gas. Uh, what? That You're going to experience something incredible. That's my present to you. Why? Shh. <laughs> Sweet dreams, Date. Why? <laughs> this is the sink room. Computer? It's inspector I see everywhere. About my face. I heard. Plastic surgery, right? Must have been a really bad wound to have to remake your old face like that. But it looks like it worked at least. You are... Was it, uh, Kaniza? It's Kagami! Kaniza, where did you even get that from? Only the first two letters are the same. Literally two thirds of the name is totally different. Poor guy. <laughs> You're standing there. Why are you here? Am I not allowed to be here? Of course not. Damn you should have been arrested three months ago. Peter was working with Renju, or to be precise, Saito inside Renju. He was leaking confidential and confidential information to him. Peter also helped Rohan inside the body of 89 escape. Peter was immediately punished and fired from the force. Yes, I was arrested. I'm eating awful meals every awful day in an equally awful detention facility. Then how are you here? Hmm, I wonder. Don't act dumb. Date, it's okay. Boss brought him here. She did? Why? She told us not to tell you. Huh? Anyway, I'm sort of like his handler now. I'm supposed to be an inspector, but I was the only person qualified for this job. Kind of pathetic, isn't it? Where's Iris? Don't worry. She's with the boss. She's safe. Did you sink with me? I did not. But I did use the sink chair. For what? Something. Why am I here? Everything that the boss did, she did for you. Ask her about it. She truly cares about you, you know. That's why she kept silent about what happened six years ago. Huh? You were once an assassin. If your secret ever got out, your life would be effectively over. But the boss protected you by hiding your past. I don't think she wanted you to leave her alone. Now, who is she to you? Anyway, now that this is done, I'll excuse myself. Hmm. Iris, what happened to Boss? She went home. She said she needed to do something in Kabukicho. She left? Anyway, forget about that. Let's play. Play? Shovel Forge. Damn it, Iris. This, why would I go to Sajiri? Confused? I would. I left Iris in the car. I figured that she didn't want to see him. Park the car a little ways down. She doesn't know that I'm here. I see your face has improved. This one doesn't make me so angry. 
because it's not his son's face, I guess. I don't know who told him, but he must know about the switch. What did you come here for? I want to ask you something. Why are you here? That's a strange question to ask a man in his own home. That's what I thought. I just thought prison would suit you better. Don't you know the law? No one can touch me. Even though we both know you committed a crime. Indeed. 18 years ago. And I was not the one who killed Monica Iwai. That was my son, Saito. But you hired the Kumakuras to hide the body. The statute of limitations for improper handling of a corpse is three years. I did what I did to protect my son. I hardly think that is a sin. Are you familiar with Article 105 of the Penal Code? Relatives of those who have committed crime cannot be prosecuted for evidence tampering or obstruction of justice. That's ridiculous. I agree. If I were still a congressman, I might think about changing it. That's right. You're not a politician anymore. Ah. The media has already begun tearing you to pieces. Yes. Soon I won't be able to live in this country anymore. I'll retire to an island somewhere and live the rest of my days in leisure. Be careful, so. There are a lot of people out there who have a grudge against you. People who will follow you to the ends of the earth. Hmm. That's none of your concern. Is that all you wanted to ask me? Oh, wow. Why did you call Shoko's phone? I've got a lot of questions for him, it appears. A few months ago, 9.02 p.m. on the Friday, Shoko's body was found. So called her burner phone. Asked him why. Do you recall the conversation we had? That my secretary got a call from number 89? That is true. I did get that call. I know. You spoke with number 89, didn't you? I did. What did you talk about? He told me this. A woman named Shoko Nadami knows what happened 18 years ago. Contact her. And you called her phone? Yes. Odd, why did 89 want you to contact Shoko? I can't say exactly. The only thing he said was, I realized everything when Shoko arrived. I have to see her again. I had no idea what he was talking about. At the time, Rohan was in the body of 89. Maybe Rohan realized it when Shoko came to visit the prison. There was really Saito inside Shoko's body. That's what he meant by realized everything. Rohan needed to speak with Saito again. They couldn't, not from inside Fuchu prison. Said he called up So and had him do it. Maybe he thought he could get Saito to visit again. That makes sense. Did you ever meet 89? By the way, did you ever meet number 89? No, I didn't. Did you ever see his face? No. Why? No reason. Why didn't you look for Saito six years ago? Six years ago, my mind was implanted into the body of Saito. my memory and ended up wandering the streets until boss found me. She hired me at Abyss and gave me the name Kaname Date. But so, Saito's father never even put out a missing person's report on his son. Why? Because of the woman you call boss. Six years ago, she came to me and explained the whole thing. You know about the Cyclops serial killings? The culprit is your son, Saito Sejima. But you already knew that, didn't you? What are you trying to say? I'm saying we should make a deal. You give me one thing, and I promise none of this will be released to the public. What is it? Leave Saito with us. 
Tell anyone who asks that Saito is soul-searching on a trip around the world or something. Do we have a deal? Hmm. I didn't have much of a choice, of course. If I refused, Saito's crimes would be exposed and my political career would be over. Besides, I never held much love for him in the first place. She was practically doing me a favor. So, of course, I said yes. And in doing so, I was able to learn a secret of the Metropolitan Police Department. It worked quite nicely for me. But the chemical plant eight years ago. I've been studying for the past three months. I've learned a lot about the explosion of the chemical plant in Kawasaki. It was caused by you and Rohan, the chairman of the Kumakuras at the time. As you know, my son Saito was abnormal with all of the awful things that my son did. I used my money to cover it up, but that got increasingly expensive, you see. One day, nine years ago, Saito called me. Dad? I thought of a plan. A foolproof plan to make us rich. A chemical plant explosion plan. To help ensure that the casino in Kabasaki would be extraordinarily profitable. It was Saito's idea. True. My son was born with an abnormal mind. But if I had never been involved with Monica in the first place, perhaps he wouldn't have ended up losing control completely. As soon as he drove his knife into Monica, something awakened in him. In the end, that's what led to his destructive, violent plan. You sound like you're blaming yourself. Perhaps. Leave. Well, I'll be seeing you, so. I very much doubt that. Yeah, you're probably right. He parted without saying goodbye. Oh, damn. I left Iris waiting. She might be angry. I gotta get back to her soon. Where should we go next? Hmm. Goodbye forever? Should have tossed him into that river there. Hide him under the bridge. Iris. Didn't you say you were going to see everyone who visited you at the hospital today? Yes, Mom. I still have some people to see. But Uncle really wanted to come here. I said no such thing. Come on, don't be shy. There are a lot of things you want to talk about, right? Come on, Damn just it, Iris. do it. I'm not ready. Of course, I want to talk to Hitomi. I ask her all about what's happened the past six years. That's not for me to ask. I've been showing up here like this isn't right, honestly. Uh, Uncle, you're so shy. Iris is teasing me. Maybe I could use that sometimes. She can help me loosen up some of my rusted screws. Who Talk cares to about me? Talk to her. That's what you came for, right? I was just smiling happily. Fine. Hello, Hitomi. I see all this stuff. How have things been? Things have calmed down, thanks to you. The school has changed, but being a teacher hasn't. How about Iris' recovery? Thank you. This is all thanks to you, Falco. No, I didn't do anything. Also, uh, that name. Please don't ever use it, ever. Oh, sorry. Mr. Date, I'm grateful from the bottom of my heart. Oh, Monica and Rinju. They were my best friends. We would always go to this little coffee shop after school. They had this old game machine there. It looked like a table, and it was about shooting invading aliens or Ooh. something like that. We talked about all sorts of things sitting there. Our love lives, our potential careers, Things we didn't like about our teachers. It was their idea that I become a teacher, you know? 
They told me that teaching elementary suited me perfectly. Those were such fun times. Oh, you're right, Arm. I'm sorry. Sorry, it's my fault. I can't ask her that. I was the one who did that to her. I was silent, but she must have noticed by my face. If this is about my arm, don't worry about that. You tried to defend me. I know that. Hitomi and Iris know everything that's happened so far. You're too nice, Mom. I will never forgive you. You have to take responsibility. Uh, Iris. No, let me talk. Uncle will be your right arm. That's how he can make it up to you. Maybe not now. It might take some time, but I'll be waiting. One day, Uncle will stand on Mom's right side, and we can go wherever we want. The three of us. To the ocean. A river. An amusement park. Barbecues. And we can make Okonomiyaki. And do more food fights. Where's that hot plate I bought? On the shelf. And I'm gonna need a raincoat. Hey, that's cheating! You're planning on being covered in flour? Of course! That's why it's fun! <laughs> Six years ago, I was an assassin. Nothing I can do now will make those crimes disappear. If I protect them, make sure they're always smiling for the rest of my days. I figure that might be enough to outweigh my sins. <laughs> to let escape. What I see here? The receptionist? Oh, Zaytran's not here. Uh oh. Yep, she's here. I saw Mizuki when I saw. I saw Mizuki when I saw Lemniske. Okay. Because of what happened this morning, Mizuki and I are in something of a cold war. She won't even look at me. We're both stubborn. Neither of us wants to apologize first. But first! Huge breasts! I heard a voice say from deep in my heart. The big breasted receptionist. Thank you. Excuse me? Uh, you might not remember, but three months ago, I called to ask you about Renju, and you told me about Sunfish Pocket. You really helped me out. Thank you. Uh, okay. I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever. You want to go to Atami with me? <laughs> he runs around the receptionist again. Uh, why? This is what's happening. Uh, well... <laughs> I want to... Hey, we're going to save here just in case bad things happen. <laughs> To rub them. I want to rub them. <laughs> oh, I could rub them all day. What? You're too curvy, tight. Oh, my shoulders. Oh my god, thank you. I've had so many knots lately. Ugh. Perfect timing. Go ahead. I'd love a shoulder rub. Well played. I got up and moved behind the receptionist to rub her shoulders, and sat back down. Iris and Mizuki stared at me the whole time. Their icy gaze pierced my very soul. Fellow, feeling a bit worse for wear, are you? Worry not, I shall embrace you. No, not you. <laughs> Here's this foiled. I didn't need you all because you were here. You. Moi? I am merely a taxi driver, my good man. Have we met? Well, let me see. 
No, I don't think we've ever crossed paths. I have an excellent memory. I usually remember my customers, but I cannot place your face. Oh, that's right. I look different than I did three months ago. Wait a minute. What are you doing here? I have an appointment to wait upon a young celebrity. I was told to wait here. I feel like I've seen him before. Yeah, there's nobody else hiding here. Good. I was just sitting there. Can you ask Mizuki how she's been? Uncle wants to know how you've been lately. You don't know? Even though we live together? Of course you don't know, because we barely talk. Even after you've officially adopted me, you don't have any sense of responsibility. That's what she said. Fire's the translator, I know. And she know got all of that just for that. <laughs> Can I ask Mizuki if she's graduating soon? Uncle wants to know if you're going to graduate soon. Oh, so unless that's her am? whispering to her. Just buy me a new junior high uniform and hire a tutor. I want to go to a good school and a new smartphone and a new iron pipe. That's what she said. You ask Mizuki why she's here? Uncle wants to know why you're here. No particular reason. Am I not allowed to be here? I inherited daddy's stock at Lemniscape. This is my company now. Isn't it natural that I'd be here? That's what she said. Hmm. Love that she had favorite iron pipe, I know. I mean, I'm just wondering what happened to the old one. Yeah, yo. Hello? Hello. How are you? Creepy old man. Nothing, huh? Yo. Yo. She ignored me with all her might. Yeah! Yeah. Then my hand like a sword, ready to strike. You want to fight me? She didn't seem to take it as a joke. I better not fight her. I wouldn't get workers' comp for that. He looks mad, understandably. Uh. Can you cut this out already? What happened? Breakfast this morning. I made the eggs over easy. That's it? Yeah. Well, that's not so bad. No, that's not it. I made the eggs over easy, and then Dante... How can I eat eggs like that? I want my eggs over well, burned to the pan on the bottom and chewy on top. Why don't you just eat an eraser? An eraser would taste better than what you served. <laughs> you shouldn't say that about Mizuki's cooking. That's mean. You're in the wrong here, Uncle. Why don't you be honest and apologize? Mizuki is the one who should be honest. I'm like her hero. What? When I was in the hospital, you were crying like a baby. Oh, I can't live without Dante. That's what you said. No, I didn't. And you were never in the hospital. Yes, I was. Was I not? <laughs> He's getting the alternate timelines mixed up. We found the bickering like nothing happened. Exactly. It's perfect, right? What? Then what was that memory? Anyway, why don't you just make up already? If Date keeps his promise, I will. Promise? The stew? You said you would take me. Oh, that. Yeah, uh, not yet. Okay, fine. Soon, okay? You promise? Promise. Good. I'm glad you two are being civil again. Anyway, should we head out, Iris? Yeah. All right, Mizuki. See you soon. See you. I hope they explain this ultimate stuff. Who'd be at Sunfish Pocket? Renju's dead. Choco's dead. I just saw Mizuki. Oda would be at his mom's place. I am seriously oh. so happy for you, Tessa. Or not? It's thanks to you, Oda. If you didn't help me back then. No, really. I didn't do much. I just risked my life to save you. It's a total exaggeration to say that I'm literally responsible for, you know, saving your life. Oh, thanks, Oda. I see Oda is still Oda. 
<gasps> the mermaid with the beautiful, amazing hip bones. Mermaid girls are standing around. About my face. Ota told me. Plastic surgery, right? I kind of like this face. More than the other one. You're good at your job. Please come again. <laughs> Such an impudent, unrepentant, penitent. Just hilarious. Yeah, he. I mean, you've got to hand it to him. He goes all in and he stays that way. <laughs> What's your relationship with the girls here? You didn't know? I made lots of friends working here part time. Sup, girl? Sup, girl? Sup, girl? Shut Excuse up, Oda. Me? <laughs> exactly. Oh, you can't just say that. Still sitting there. Oda is sitting in front of me. Now that Iris is healthy, he's overjoyed. Shadows! Shadows. Thread, silhouette, ASAP. Fears. Upset, regret, ASAP. Water. Wet, sweat, ASAP. You bet! I can't believe you remember that, Uncle. I'm so happy. I said most of it. How have you been? I've been doing good. I'm delivering newspapers in the mornings, working as a janitor during the day, and writing at night. Well done! I might just be the hardest working 20-something in Japan. Uh... I don't know about that. Really, though? I've got to be, like, in the top three in Tokyo alone. Thought of kicking his ass. But I don't think it would take. Glad you're okay. I'm actually exhausted right now. But I can't look tired in front of Tessa. Anyway, how are you? I guess I'm all right. Your left eye, uh... It's fake. I can't see anything out of it, and it doesn't talk. Huh? I see. So, Aiba? What a tragedy. Uh... Oh god. <laughs> a tragedy? Yeah. She was so cute. What a waste. Ah, uh, that's why. If she were real, I would marry her. What about Tessa? You would not survive the attempt. What do you mean? Ota, what are you saying? In front of Iris? Oh, Tessa, I was kidding. It was a joke. It's fine, I don't care. Thank goodness. I don't think that's what she means. Say goodbye. Forever. Hello, Ota. Aw, you're going already? I can see you anytime I want, right? That Matsushita diner? You'll... you'll come? Yeah, I want you to make me your omelet rice again. <laughs> awesome. Stop by any time. I'll be waiting. All right, then. Let's go there. You can go make me your omelet rice right now. Pick him up by the scruff of his neck and just drag him along. Tessa, your surgery went well, didn't it? Ota told me all about it. Oh, so she's got a nurse with her now. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Oh, who is this? Oh, um... I'm close friends with Ota, ma'am. Is that right? Thank you for taking care of my boy. But Mayumi... She's so cute and fashionable. She's such a nice lady. Lady? Oh, sorry. Um, big sister, right? Or maybe mother-in-law? <gasps> you might be calling me that one day. <laughs> I don't think so. I was just standing there. You're... You're the nurse from Central Hospital. Well, yes. Have we met? 
That's right, my face is different than it was when we met. Why are you here? I came to deliver Mayumi's medication. The pharmacist sent me. You seem pretty happy. I belong to the Association of Nurse Actresses. I got a call from my director this morning. They're giving me more lines. I used to have a bit part during the opening scene, but now I have lines at the end, too. I'm really happy about that. That's wonderful, sweetie. I see. What's your name? Hanayo Nasu. It will be Hanayo Yogano next month. You're getting married? Yes. That is so wonderful. Thank you. Don't tell me. Seriously? So that's the guy, huh? The nurse from Central Hospital. Moma, the... The, the mob doctor. He's getting married to him. <laughs> and he has a happy smile on her face. About the diner. It's doing great thanks to you. The lunch rush is always crazy. My husband and I are working hard. We never get any time mm. to rest. Naomi suffers from a brain dysfunction. I learned about it just before the incident three months ago. So she sh Matsushita Diner was actually closed up and her husband has already passed away. Unfortunately, it turned out that even the most advanced medical technology can't cure her dementia. But her medicine helps her manage the symptoms. It's a little odd, but it brings Mayumi happiness. For her, her husband is still alive and her diner is still in business. I don't know if she remembers me. Look different than I did three months ago. She did ask me who I was, after all. But even if I were in my old body, she might have still asked the same thing. She does remember Iris. Is that because she's Ota's friend? About Iris. I visited her in the hospital. Ota brought me. Yeah, I remember was so charmed by her. No, oh, stop. You're making me blush. I had no idea she was such a nice girl. You thought I was a witch or something before, right? Don't remind me. I was so awful to you. But now I'm a huge fan. <laughs> Thank you. What about Ota? Ota? That boy is a handful of trouble, I tell you. That's not true. Yeah, that's right. Ota can be really heroic and brave when the time calls for it. Of course, 99% of life is not when the time calls for it. Oh, you're praising my boy. Maybe I should give you a meal on the house. All right, time to go. Well, let's get going. Yeah, goodbye. Thank you for helping my son. He needs friends like you. Uh, wait, why are we going to the Harbor Warehouse District? I'm very confused now. Iris, why did you want to come here? Haven't you seen everyone you wanted to already? Yeah! I suggested that we come to the warehouses. I thought it was odd, but drove her here anyway. Thank you for today. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Is the date finally over? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Thank you. Not just for today, but for everything. Six years ago, you helped me and my mom, and I'm so grateful for that. Will you close your eyes for me, Uncle? She's gonna push me into the water. Yeah, please. Wait, you want me to close my eyes? Do you? Just do it, quick! I'm so nervous, I'm shaking. Oh, man. Oh, no. No way. It's happening. I had to keep my cool. All right. What do you think was happening? Close my eyes. And? Okay. Open them. What? Open my eyes. And there before me was... <gasps> 
I see Iris' smile against the warm sunset. The girl standing in front of me. She's... She's... I'm going to have to scold her. You, you... You can't walk around dressed like that. You'll catch a cold. It's flu season. Look at you. You look like a ghost. Your skin is already... Transparent. <laughs> it's been a long time, Hanami Date. <sighs> at a time like this, I'm at a loss for words. I don't know what to say. You... You are... Uh... That is, uh, um, who are you again? You haven't changed. <laughs> You're still an idiot. No, you're an idiot. You idiot, I thought you died. I was worried about you. Pardon, but you were the one who issued the self-destruct order. Anyway, I want to know something. The number, 41205. There must be something to it. It does not. It is only my favorite number. Your favorite number? I see. Oh, sorry. I hear everything Iba says over this earpiece. I was wondering about that. I was like, how is she hearing? I, think I understand the meaning behind her number. What does it mean? Iris, do not tell him. Uncle, think of the alphabet. What's the fourth letter? A, B, C, D. And the first? A. And the 20th? And the fifth? <sighs> <laughs> I see. What's going on? Allow me to explain. I, or everything that constitutes my I, disappeared completely three months ago, including all of my backup data. However, fragments of my data were being secretly uploaded to cloud servers around the world for years. <gasps> By downloading and decoding these fragments, I was able to regenerate my memories and consciousness. It was the Wadjet system that brought me back to life. That system is responsible for proliferating my data. Wadjet is like a mother to me, and she protected me as her child. And I am forever grateful to my mother. Never underestimate the power of Wadjet. But why are you here? To be exact, I am not here. You are seeing an augmented reality virtual projection of myself. My physical self is... In my left eye? Yes. How did you get in there? I see you have not become any more astute in my absence. Think carefully. Yeah, when it was with pewter, duh. Everything that the boss did, she did for you. At Abyss, when I lost consciousness. Yes. Pewter embedded me in your eye socket. I knew the whole time. Boss told me about the plan to restore Iba. I wanted it to be a surprise for you, so... Is this my thank you? Yeah, but it's not over yet. <clears throat> not over yet? What? Anyway. Anyway, um, Iba, welcome back. Glad to be back. I'm home. Well, now that Iba has risen from the dead, I think we should celebrate with a dance number! Oh no. A what? Oh no. Oh no! No! <laughs> she hasn't come up with a new song since these six months. Teacups that are flying, on maps mystifying. You'll think that I'm hiding. This old tale of mine. Permanent fire, cold frost on the pyre, fruit never expires. You've seen in your eyes, you've seen in your mind. While the old father has, while the blind need the blind, the marble loses shine, the eye clouds by design. But we know in our soul the one hope, the one truth. I was what dancing we along. We can, we can make miracles. Oh no.
to the forehead my kick like a warhead you're pinned oh, on dear. the floor spread i'm queen of this crowd and i'll show you why i don't want to hide no it. that's what i decided i can't live divided i know i was wrong Us? Well, the rain turns to ice, their hearts lock like, like a vice. vice. But we know in our soul the one hope, the one truth. The fires of love can warm any heart. <laughs> no, not you two, exactly. <laughs> Damn, everybody's here. Wait, is the taxi driver here too? He is! Ah! I like that there's bodyguards there too. <laughs> I'm who they say is the best detective. Although without me, he's ineffective. That's it, we're done. I'm walking out of here. I know. Welcome back. After having to go through all the Zero Escape endings, this one's just totally different. <laughs> like, whoa, okay. Let's end on a very happy note. A very happy, silly note. Thank you for playing. Your eyes have been... And then the achievement has dropped. Okay, go away, achievement. Oh, your eyes have been opened. Okay. <laughs> I was like, come on, I can't read that. Would you like to save? It is yes. Save. It is saved. Dance has been unlocked in the title menu. What is this dance? Oh gosh. <laughs> so you can move the camera, zoom. Move where it's looking. Your image. Oh my gosh, you can actually karaoke it as well. That's amazing. You fast forward. Slow. So characters change the backgrounds. Well, I guess because they did it all the characters at the ending there, so they've got a cap for all of them. Oh, Zayshan's missing out. The reception is dancing for him. Play grand finale? Oh, so you can see the whole thing again, eh? Ah, okay. Interesting.
it's, it's a neat little extra they've got there. All right, and with that, this is where we'll be calling it for the night. We have finally finished AI the Somnium Files. It was, it was actually quite fun. I, I have one big gripe though. The whole parallel worlds. I don't understand why they did that. It, it specifically stated that, oh, parallel worlds. How did I know that? And there's like that little bit of mystery there that they're, they acknowledge that it's there. How did I know that? Wait, that didn't happen even in the ending. It's like, oh, wait, I've never been to the hospital. Having Mizuki cry for me, huh? So it's like, okay. How and why? But yes. Anyways, um, let's see here. Oh, Zaytran is offline. Oof. Let's see. All right. So anyways, you all have yourselves a fabulous day. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I will be live uh, again this upcoming Monday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time with a brand new game. Where I look through my stuff and we'll see exactly what I've got. I've got a few things that I've... Smaller games that I think I want to do first. Yes. Like Harvester. Anyways, catch you later. Have a good weekend.